Good evening everyone. Welcome to An Academy. This is Success Sampath interacting with you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to become IAS, IPS, IFS, IRS? Ladies and gentlemen, we An Academy with top educators of India and meticulously designed quality content. We have been waiting for you, waiting to shape you especially. Once you enroll yourself in an academy, ladies and gentlemen, you will undergo a great learning experience, right? You know well. You know about an academy, this is India's largest and the best online education platform. And you can also ask me, what are all the benefits you are likely to encounter once you enroll yourself in an academy? If that's going to be your question, ladies and gentlemen, you got daily live classes, you can chat with your educator and you can engage in all round discussions. You can also ask all your genuine doubts and you can participate in the answer polls. All these things you can do when the sessions going on. And you got structured courses here, completely based on UPSC syllabus and examination pattern. So we ensure you, you, you never get deviated from the expected framework. Ladies and gentlemen. It's not knowing the stuff, knowing to deliver the stuff. We are keep on emphasizing this particular point. It's not what you deliver, rather how do you deliver. Ladies and gentlemen, for that we have got a mechanism, you know, uh, uh, to evaluate your preparation at various stages. For that we have got regular mock tests and quiz programs. You get detailed analysis based on your performance. And as we told you already, you know, you got unlimited access to all the, you know, the uh, videos, you know, once you subscribe, right. And not only that, you can learn from anywhere, anytime, irrespective of your electronic device. It may be mobile phone, laptop, desktop even. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have to do, please download an academy learning app immediately. Whether it is Android, iOS, once you download, you are, you are likely to, you know, that uh, avoid all those, you know, benefits what we have discussed so far. Ladies and gentlemen, who is this interacting with you? This is Success Sampat from Chennai. And with unique experience, you know, that of you are exposed to the fields of, you know, engineering, management and legal education. You might be aware with 25 years of experience in the field of coaching for civil service examination, especially shaping the careers of civil service aspirants. You know, with my team, you know, that I could get, you know, humble results with 250 plus IAS, IPS, IFS, IRS officials. My kids are working in different parts of India and some of them in abroad as well. Yes. You can also ask me, what's your vision, sir? Yeah, we want to be part of solution. We want to simplify the complexity, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, with vision. The vision to begin with, to provide career solution by enabling youths of India. Let it to embrace the global community, ladies and gentlemen. Fortunately, this particular vision of mine is completely in alignment with an academy's vision. We are working together to shape you, to shape your career especially. Ladies and gentlemen, you can also reach me through Telegram channel, even, you know, YouTube part of, you know, an academy platform through using my ID, of course, Success Sampath or Sampath Rubingida. It's not only me, more than 100 plus top educators of India, you know, waiting to shape you on the part of an academy platform. And this is what, you know, that new fee structure, you know, that once you enroll yourself, of course, we are keep on emphasizing, you know, that the points, of course, under UPSC civil service examination, we got more than 15,000 courses. The major programs, of course, plus program, iconic program, plus program, you got advantages like this, live classes, test series, unlimited practice sessions, and you got structured schedule also, ladies and gentlemen, according to you, you know, that uh, uh, the convenience and budget, you can choose program, especially you got, you know, program for one month, three months, six months, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. But more than this plus, plus program, ladies and gentlemen, we strongly recommend iconic program. See, when, when we say iconic program, you know, that it has got its own, you know, that unique advantages. Of course, more than this plus program, you will be allotted a personal mentor, a personal coach to take care of, you know, all your needs to understand your nature and suggest, you know, that the planner accordingly and also train you in terms of, you know, everyday answer writing practices you will be getting in turn, you know, personalized feedback, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, that, so the plus program, iconic program, of course, you know, that we are talking about, you know, whatever may be the program you enroll, enroll. So the point is, we are strongly recommending you to, you know, be part of, you know, iconic program. Please use my referral code, say, success to avail maximum 
ten percent discount. Ladies and gentlemen, not only that, even for optional subject, you know that uh, uh, we got a program. You know, you can be here also be part of you know the plus program and iconic program here too. You got you know that one year course or two years course, three years course. You know that you can plan accordingly in joining the course. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that way. So please use my referral code C success to avail maximum ten percent discount. Ladies and gentlemen, not only that, you know you got one more advantage here. Of course, you know that uh, uh, once you enroll yourself, you know that immediately for the twelve months program, you got you know that uh, uh, the very advantage up to thirty first October. You can pay only for GS, but you avail parallelly. You know that the course meant for optional subject. Otherwise, twenty-seven thousand five hundred rupees absolutely free. So this particular thing, you know that part of this program, and also you know that you can also you know that uh, 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 after thirty-first October, if you are going to choose the program, you know that you have to you know that pay in addition to that of you know your GS amount meant for twelve months program, twenty-seven thousand five hundred also. It comes around seventy-seven thousand. Hope you will understand. You got you know a, a few days left to avail this benefit, ladies and gentlemen. I think you know it is uh, uh, the new changes, and you got you know that all you know that the, the established optional subjects part of you know the, the very academy. We are as a team you know that there to support you. You choose program. You know whatever may be your financial uh, uh, viability, whether it is you know that three years program or even minimum one month program. You can you know that choose the program. That is what according to your can time convenience and budget you can choose the program. Please use my referral code C success. To avail maximum ten percent discount, ladies and gentlemen, that's fantastic. Welcome to the very purpose and direction of our interaction today. Welcome to an academy. This is Success Sampath interacting with you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is in continuation of the previous, you know, essay writing practices, art of essay writing. Apart from the, you know, that uh, the grand strategy to score two hundred plus in essay, we also started explaining the domain specific approach. It is that way in continuation. It's going to be the, the fourth domain, you know, that approach, fourth domain knowledge based approach. Let me put that way. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm taking coffee without. Eh? I'm sorry. It is that way, ladies and gentlemen. You know very well. You know that uh, there are newcomers part of this. Also, let me you know the take care of you. The point is, of course. The very essay, you know very well, uh, with simple communication skill, you know that you are capable of scoring, you know, 200 plus out of 250. You know, it is going to be edge in deciding your service. We are keep on emphasizing this particular point, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you know, having prepared very well for optional subject, you know, even for general studies, you know, with that much amount of input, but you know that you don't put that much input for, you know, that essay. In spite of that, you are capable of scoring around 100 marks, which is equivalent to your GS paper one, paper two. That's what the score you get. So you know you see, but with little bit you know that smartness. If you come to know what is the strategy, the formula, the technology, the tools, even you know that exposure to the domain knowledge, I am pretty sure you are capable of scoring more than two hundred plus. That is what you know that our uh, uh, essence of interaction. In that you know that based on that particular purpose, we already discussed took you to the domain knowledge. You know that because when you take into account the various previous your questions, the terrific. Uh, to 30 years of you know that essay uh, the questions part of upsc mains written you can group them into eight categories ladies and gentlemen so all these questions can be you know that categorized in such a way for eight categories in that sense of course so far we discuss you know the three categories three domain knowledge in the name of domain knowledge we are going to discuss keywords they are otherwise said to be the uh, uh, you know building uh, uh, a foundation of a building otherwise building blocks let me put this way ladies and gentlemen once you are very strong in that particular, you know, the building blocks, the keywords or art words, I am pretty sure you are, you are capable of moving to the next level in understanding the question, in applying that, you know, understanding, in elaborating, you know, that while writing essay, of course, you know, very well in the name of writing essay, you are going to write, you know, 15 to 16 paragraphs, otherwise 15 to 16 ideas, because yeah, an idea is getting translated into paragraphs here. A paragraph in the sense you know that 40 to 50 words you are going to write here we are keep on emphasizing this particular point so in in that sense of course you know thousand to thousand two hundred words you are going to write because when you talk about essay it's not only talking about word economy as well as time management as well as space management it is gentlemen it is that way so you please come to know about this it is in that sense you know that we are you know with that sense we are going to you know that uh, take you to a new domain knowledge of course you know, part of you know that uh, 
this particular you know that interaction today ladies and gentlemen not only that in terms of keywords we are going to apply in terms of the question and we are going to introduce you you know a few best conclusions how it should be how the best introduction should be and also you know that uh, the domain knowledge you know that a century related quotes we are talking about it's not knowing the stuff knowing to deliver the stuff we are keep on repeating this particular statement because you know that it's all about your delivery because delivery matters action speaks louder than words it's not saying it's not saying you know i know this i know sir i know everything sir no <laughs> It's not speaking, you know, in front of others, I know everything, right? It's showing your results, of course, showing your action in terms of delivery. That demands practice. Practice makes everyone perfect, including yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, you know, 200 plus club on the part of USA. Of course, you know, that there we are talking about, you know, that role of writing practice, especially we suppose, you know, that you two, we expect you to, you know, that write at least two to three it says you know per week given the space you might be aware having you know that uh, the very results released of the prelims you know the 2020 you got of course you know that 65 to 70 days you know span i mentioned already of course let me put this way 65 days already five days gone you might be aware so in that sense given this time period what we can do there is general when that is a sense you know that at least you know that two to three or three to four essays per week if you write that way then only you will be fantastic you should not on the day of you know that i say if you start writing of course good i appreciate your creativity you know that the uh, ready to face the challenges but if you are to some extent prepared i'm pretty sure you know that why do we end up with you know the land up with you know 100 plus or 150 plus of course you can land up with you know 200 plus ladies and gentlemen that is how that is what our genuine expectation i think you know that let me take you to the next slide of course yes this is essay writing practice, especially art of essay writing. You know, this is what the connection. There is no prescribed syllabus on the part of UPSC. You might be aware. Excuse me. But the very instructions given by the UPSC in such a way, from there, we take you. We take, you know, ultimately, uh, 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 the very blueprint, how the UPSC expecting you to write essay. You to deliver the ESC. What is the genuine expectation on the part of UPSC? That's what the point. The candidates are expected to keep closely to the subject of the essay. The thing is, you should be focused to the point, you know, that otherwise relevant, you know, relevance of ideas we are talking about. You know, your writing should be quite relevant to the topic. That's the very purpose communicated. And to arrange their ideas in the name of brainstorming. Ladies and gentlemen, we gave you the formula already, right? You know, that, you know, you talk about BPO. Here I am talking about the formula. PBO. Okay. So, conclusion, introduction. Then you are going to write the essay and you are going to polish the essay. What is P? You are going to choose the topic in the name of preparation. It is brainstorming, the second thing. Of course, you know, in the name of B, in the name of brainstorming, you are going to generate a lot of ideas. In choosing the topic itself, you have to generate ideas. The topic for which you generate more ideas, that becomes your topic. Right. So, having generated ideas, you are going to group, you are going to arrange, you know, that in such a way, then you are going for, you know, headings, subheadings, you might be aware, some addition, deletion in terms of ideas, you avoid repetition to, you know, having generated ideas, you go for orderly fashion of those ideas. I told you already, every idea is getting translated into one paragraph, a paragraph of 45 to 50 words. In that sense, 15 to 16 paragraphs, you are going to write in the name of one yes. Ladies and gentlemen, so sequence your ideas, prioritize your ideas, you know, and also to write concisely. We are keep on emphasizing another point here, keys principle. What is that keys? Keep it short and simple. Ladies and gentlemen, it is, you know, that the accuracy, preciseness with which, you know, that you communicate your ideas because you got word economy here. Ladies and gentlemen, so having arranged your ideas, you know, that in such a way, when you connect all those ideas, you know, that with, with simple and powerful language with which you went for headings and subheadings you might be aware you know when you connect all those ideas you get a message that message is equivalent to the topic you have chosen letter and spirit this is otherwise left hand side which is equal to right hand side the very mess message you are trying to communicate in the name of your essay writing should be equivalent to the letter and spirit of the topic you have chosen ladies and gentlemen that is what the very purpose you know that it should be very effective 
got the idea na no? with simple and powerful language and also you know that the connectivity you establish in communicating the message and also the keep it short and simple principle conciseness preciseness and also the relevance of ideas you know to the topic you know that becomes ultimately you know that effective and exact expression you know exact expression when i say let's general you have to keep in your mind appropriate keywords in appropriate place right letter and spirit you should communicate you know it saves you from the burden of going for you know few sentences few paragraphs if you communicate in terms of you know that the, the appropriate keywords appropriate vocabularies even sometimes if needed you please don't hesitate to go for latin and greek terms you know you call ipso facto prima donna prima facie sine qua non quid pro quo sine die amicus curiae bona fide mala fide you know status quo ante you might be uh, you know aver ad valorem you know uh, the prima facie you talk about all these you know that latin and greek terms wherever possible you can employ you know that uh, uh, to be you know that effective in terms of your delivery ladies and gentlemen i think you know this is what you know that uh, the, the blueprint of the upsc is you know that expectation from there we 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 you know that take you to the next level of course you know well you're going to write you know the two essays the two essays in 3 hours so per essay one and a half hour where the very planning what you do you know that i was elaborating this formula so choosing the topic you know that brainstorming you deliver ideas of course you go for organizing ideas then you decide what should be the conclusion because we are keep on emphasizing you should know where you are going to put full stop you should know how to finish how to conclude people are finding very difficult people know how to begin but they don't know how to finish that's a problem everywhere so the point is how to conclude you know that, that's what you know that uh, 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 you, if you know where to put full stop all the words all the sentences you write will be qualified enough right it will be more relevant so you should know where to put how to conclude in the name of conclusion you go for thought provocation you you recommend some solution you advise you are part of the solution but also you have to plan how to begin well begin is of then the introduction you know that is all about you set the tone it's a teaser or trailer the main picture is is, is to be seen in the body you arouse curiosity on the part of the evaluator the, the evaluator should come to the front seat the edge of the seat wow this guy he has got something he's going to deliver something that that should be emotional arousement it should be promising the name of writing introduction it should be a summary of you know that the, the the body of the essay and also you know that you establish some context in such a way before setting the tone where wherever possible you know that you try to incorporate all the vocabularies available on the topic itself so you go with the topic you go with the topic yes it is that way ladies and gentlemen so for this particular planning of you know that the very essay please spend half an hour you are going to you know that deliver the planned you know that essay for one hour so part of this one hour you are also going to polish tinkering work you know spell checks what are maybe underlining you know that highlighting all those stuffs right so one hour for plan you know half an hour for planning one hour for your delivery per essay same we are going to repeat for another essay also because three hours two essays you are going to write 125 plus 125 250 but we expect you know that minimum 200 plus you can definitely get let me assure you if you are going to you know that use all the tools what we are suggesting here what the technology we are you know that emphasizing here if you are going to practice letter and spirit i am pretty sure i benefited out of this my kids benefited became officers you can also join that particular club you know 200 plus let's join that is what you know that uh, 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 the very purpose and direction of today's interaction ladies and gentlemen yes i i hear your mind boy some of the newcomers sir how come 200 plus let me assure you sir no one will get 200 plus probably that guy you know that a guy who is saying that way it is his score not your score you are meant for greater purpose you are meant for higher order purpose in the world ladies and gentlemen because writing essay is an art it is not when it becomes art if you know the technology it is smart work it's not a hard work it's not you know that just writing what you know what is expected out of that particular topic what is expected you know out of you from upsc angle for that you know because as i told you it has got rules of the game it talks about introduction it talks about conclusion it talks about relevance of ideas it talks about fashioning of ideas it talks about structure it talks about content 
it, it talks about the balance between facts and trends, analysis, analytical. It's, it's also talking about, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, employing appropriate keywords in appropriate places with, with good quote wherever necessary. And even, you know, you can finish with quote in the conclusion, even, even in the middle of the essay, you can incorporate the, 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 you know, the very quotes, you know, wherever possible. Why not? That way, that way. You know, even generally, you may be thinking that I don't know anything about this topic, but we supply tools. Please watch all my previous videos also. Ladies and gentlemen, you will come to know the strategy. You will come to know, you know, the, the domain knowledge also I'm elaborating. People already cleared prelims, you know, you won't find problem in domain knowledge. People, you know, the newcomers who prepare for integrated prelims campaigns, definitely you are yet to know the general studies. For you, it is very important. Otherwise, in the name of domain knowledge, what I'm discussing, the keywords, it's going to be useful for you parallelly for your GS preparation also, ladies and gentlemen. So, this art of writing, you know, that essay, it becomes art. It becomes, you know, that it's soulful rendition. Let me put this way. Having understood technology, if you practice well, definitely, you know, that it becomes a soulful rendition. You will touch the core of the node. I'm pretty sure it is possible. Right, you know that, uh, you know, it's, it's not speaking, it's not preaching, it's practicing. Ladies and gentlemen, that way. Sir, no, 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 sir, it's not possible, sir. You know that it looks great, ambitious, a plan, what you are suggesting. No. So, even, you know, that the Thiruvalluvar, you might be aware, very recently, Prime Minister Modi ji also emphasizing, you know, that Thirukural, wherever he goes, even it became, you know, part of uh, Niti Aayog vision document also, the examples, you might be aware. Even Dr. Kalam never hesitates to, you know, that he emphasized this great, you know, that uh, 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 philosopher, you know, where he gave, you know, that one Kural. Of course, it's in Tamil. I, I, I also parallelly give you the translation so as to benefit all my brothers, you know, the different parts of India. Vellatthanayadu malarneetam mandardam ullatthanayadu uyarku. Got the idea, no? So, you know that ullatthanayadu uyarku. You become as you think. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it is that way. Otherwise, the stalks of the water flowers are proportionate to the depth of the water. So, your depth of, you know, that the passion, your depth, you know, that with which, you know, that you, 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 you are ambitious. Otherwise, let me put this way. So, your greatness will be nothing wrong. But having fixed ambition, having become passionate about it, you have to translate that passion into reality. For that, you have to work. It should be matched by your application of efforts. So, but the, the, the very thinking, of course, you know that. So, Ullattanayadu, where we are talking about, as you think, you become. That is what the essence of this particular, you know, that Thirukurul, you know, uh, Thiruvalluvar, of course, you know, the Thirukural, 595, you know, that the Kural speaking that way, you become as you think. If you, if you think you are strong, you become strong. If you think you are weak, you become weak. I don't know what stops you, you know, that from thinking big, thinking, you know, that ambitious, thinking, you know, that scoring 200 plus, why not? 230 out of 250, 250 out of 250 you aim, at least you, you land up somewhere 240, 240, it's possible. Yes, it's possible. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Not only that, you know that, so you know, let me also invite parallelly Swami Vivekananda, you know that, to, to make you understand the spirit. Of course, all the powers in the universe are already yours, ours, because we are part of the boson particle, the godliness. We are part of God. There is a God in us. Ultimately, we forget that. Ultimately, you know what happened, right? We, we do all, you know, that unholy activities. It is we who have put our hands before our eyes and cry, it's dark. Ladies and gentlemen, so everything is, you know, is, it's, it's inside out, not outside. In That's what we say in Tamil. You got everything in you. But unfortunately, you are searching everything from outside as if, you know that uh, you, your happiness depending on outside. No, it's it's you decide your happiness. You decide your achievement because you know that all parts you got unlimited power. You got unlimited power. All parts of the universe, the universe are already ours. It is we, you know that we have put our hands before our eyes and and cry. It's dark like that. You know that please remove your hands. Remove all those obstacles. You just unleash your potential. Reveal your potential because you know. It's constantly, you know, that you are evolving. Expansion is life. Contraction is death. Expand. Evolve. Evolve. Unleash your potential. You got unlimited power in you. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. Please don't think, you know, that don't feel restricted. Ladies and gentlemen, and beyond that, you might be aware what your mind can conceive and believe you can achieve. You know, you please, you know, you conceive this idea and you start believing it every day. You, you, you think every day morning as if, you know, that 
you you achieved you know that extraordinary marks maybe 235 out of 250 everybody appreciating it is that way you become landmark in essay preparation you know and the, the overall civil service examination preparation circle then you assume that you got through you dream you close your eyes dream people come and appreciating you every day you know the few seconds you devote for that you know that your your mind can conceive and if your mind can believe it i am pretty sure it can achieve it ladies and gentlemen it's not only for sc score assume yourself you become prime minister of india assume yourself you become united nations secretary general it's possible assume yourself you are going to become all india topper you conceive that idea you believe that will channelize, rationalize all of your actions. Everything falls in place. Nothing will stop you. All noises, everything, you know, that uh, no, na no sayers can stop you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is, you know, that nobody can reach you. Nobody can touch you because you are very strong. What the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. If you conceive and believe the idea that you are capable of getting more than 225 out of 250, I am pretty sure you will be joining 200 plus, you know, club of this essay. Your mind can achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take, you know, the courtesy, the support of Napoleon Hill here. Yeah, that's fantastic. Having understood the technology, absorbed the tools, having practiced regularly, if you don't score in the essay, please talk to me again. You know that it is that way. You know, even the part of SA program, part of an academy also, we will train you. The test batches and mock tests, you know, we will give you feedback where you will come to know. We will fix all your issues. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that way. It is right time. Of course, you know that let me take you to the domain approach. Yes, as I told you, when you take into account all the previous year questions of SA, if you group them, categorize them, you got this way. You know, that eight domains. Hitherto, I discussed, you know, that economy. Society, culture, mindset, and international institution issues discuss. Today, our bone of interaction, you know, the bone of, you know, that uh, contention, of course, it's going to be on, you know, uh, the very polity, Indian polity, Indian constitution, and governance. The essay is belonging to this particular domain, of course, that is what. And definitely, you will get one question belonging to, you know, the education. You know, that it's only, you know, that the four domains, you know, that part of this particular YouTube we are elaborating and you should be part of, you know, that the plus program or iconic program. You choose, you know, that essay, you join the program and you'll be getting complete skills and also, you know, that uh, asking you to write essay and evaluating all those things will be done there. But the point is now the focus on polity and governance. Of course, you know, that is what our strategy before going there. Before seeing, you know, that the real questions belonging to this particular essay topics belonging to this particular domain knowledge, let me introduce you some of the keywords. There is gentlemen, of course, you know what is media. What is media? Come on. Anybody? What's media? It is an instrument of communication. Ladies and gentlemen, it is simply put it, it is an, you know, you know, that's the problem. When you, when you, you know that, you know everything, no question about it. When I ask you to put in writing, that's the problem. It is not only, really, you know, that in front of me, even in the, on the day of examination, you know, nothing comes to your mind. It will be uh, blunt. So that is why, you know, that we expect you to write something before going there. You know, if you fail to plan, we plan for our failure. I'm sorry to say this. Planning is very important. Otherwise, it's called, you know, that uh, uh, proactiveness. Don't be, you know, that reactive. Don't be inactive. You know, they don't be active on the day of examination alone. We expect you to be proactiveness. That demands planning. That demands planning. Be ambitious and, and plan. So it's that way, ladies and gentlemen. So the media is nothing but an instrument for communication, instrument of communication. Maybe, uh, you know, the, through radio communication, television. You talk about, you know, the, the print media, of course, when you talk about. And also celluloid media we are talking about. And today we are living in the world of, you know, the social network, of course, a social network. You know that uh, uh, social media has become selfish media. You got, you know, you had another essay also based on that because people use that self social media for the purpose of you know that character assassination, trolling people, you know that uh, pulling down people. You know that that never defends yourself by pulling others. You won't come up in life by helping others to grow. You will definitely reach you know greater position. Not by pulling you know that others down. That will never work. If at all you achieve something, it's temporary, not in the long run. I have seen a lot of, you know, personalities in my life, you know, that by pulling others, they thought they can come up. They never came in life. Please don't, don't follow that strategy. Of course, of course, you know, that Chanakya Niti, you know, that you talk about that's totally different, but it, it's nothing is free from consequences. Come back, you know, the organs of the government, first organ, second organ, third organ, 
यू माइट बी अवेयर लेजिस्लेचर एग्जीक्यूटिव जुडिशरी आपको फर्स्ट स्टेट सेकेंड स्टेट थर्ड स्टेट फोर्थ स्टेट इज कॉल्ड प्रेस you know that the fourth organ of course and the fifth you know that estate is otherwise called social media put together we call media of course you know ladies gentlemen you know very well you know that even the elections are nowadays you know media managed even governance is media managed in democracy you know that we expect you know freedom to be imp very important component on the part of uh, uh, the democracy letter and spirit you know people should enjoy freedom right you know we talk about media freedom but unfortunately media itself you know that not free from you know that corruption media itself you know not free from the politicization you might be aware right we are talking about each and every political party has got its own you know that uh, 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 the very media backing whether it you know the television or print media you might be aware even media personalities accordingly so it is you know that sometimes the election is also called as media managed politics you know that the, the articles written in such a way so as to intimate the awareness you know uh, uh, aware, make the people you know that electorates aware of things happening that to you know by using partial statistics selective statistics misleading i see in a particular editorial what happening in our one particular latin american country or our one middle east country or one eurasian country will be taken into account as an example they will cite what are all the problems going on you know if you practice all these things people will throw you out of government you know it is parallelly intimating you know that uh, making the uh, you know the readers aware of what's ha happening in those nations and trying to link with you know the domestic context i see the intention of the media in such a way you know that uh, and it, it, it's not free from political leanings ladies and gentlemen so as civil service aspirant you you are not supposed to take sides ladies and gentlemen that you can't go against your employer happen to be your government if if you got any difference of opinion alternatives you know that you should be you know that uh, contributing our ideas your ideas in such a way as alternative ideas that to constructively not destructively for your information ladies and gentlemen so you know you know the very media nowadays it's also not free from the accusation right you know uh, the very excitement sensationalism they sell news they sell news that's what we expect you to go to newspapers you know that that to editorial portion you know that uh, we don't want that sensationalism excitement only settled news becomes you know that your syllabus of course you know that that the balanced approach uh, that demands your emotional intelligence also ladies germy we are talking about hope you understand this media and you know that the, the, the you know uh, the tehelka expos and so much of things we are talking about you know it is that way so the role of media is very crucial for effective functioning of you know that uh, the very democracy you know you might be aware uh, uh, india's you know freedom a uh, struggle you know that so much of uh, the role uh, played by you know very media you might be aware sudesh simitran uh, even the very hindu newspaper you know that uh, from the south this brahmanya year you might be aware you know that uh, uh, the various you know the periodicals during that time how you know that the people even dravidian movements were completely nurtured by the support of media whether it is you know the uh, uh, the kalanjar karunanidhi even cn yana durai they used to write you know that uh, the mouthpiece every day through you know even periyar ev ramasami it is that way they reached apart from independence struggle even dravidian movement the effective role played by media you might be aware ladies and gentlemen we are talking about so it is you know uh, for simple introduction we are talking about of course you are going to see the question what is democracy democracy means rule demo people ruled by democracy you know that it's it's you know ruled by people for the people of the people to the people you might be aware abraham lincoln's democracy you know the, uh, the very definition also for democracy you might be well aware it's not you know that nothing wrong we are talking about this democracy you know you might be aware the liberty equality fraternity of course the very paradigm shift we are talking about uh, uh, on the part of you know french revolution so that that from monarchy to democracy we are talking about so people will have direct say in governance of course you know that in deciding who should be the ruler in in, in legislative law ultimately you know that uh, they decide who should be executive for implementing that and also the establishment of judicial mechanism you might be aware all people cannot go to the respective legislatures that's why we got you know representative you know the delegated legislation representative democracy it is indirect legislation people indirectly you know that take part in the legislation process by that through their you know representatives of their own respective constituencies whether it is state administration or central administration you might be aware here we are talking about you know democracy to be practiced you know how do you you know that end, you know enforce this how do you practice this democracy there should be strong opposition 
right? You know that ultimately whenever there is excessiveness on the part of ruling administration or lacuna, shortcomings on the part of ruling administration, effective role played by opposition ultimately, you know, very crucial part of democracy. And also we spent, you know, that said already, the, the role of media also in parallel instructing and role of judiciary, if at all any, you know, that uh, the conflict you might be aware. So we are talking about all these things, ladies and gentlemen, but democracy, the direct forms of democracy and indirect forms of democracy we are talking about. So this democracy, what we are practicing is indirect form. The direct forms of democracy is highly realized, you know, that how in, in case you would have heard about, you know, plebiscite, referendum, you know, that referendum recall, it's possible only when the population or electorate is very small in size. But given the fact India like country where huge population, of course, as Mark Zuckerberg saying in future, if at all we go for, you know, that online voting using technology, definitely it's possible. Issue based voting. For every issue, you can go for voting, whether citizenship amendment bill or new education policy or, you know, that environment impact assessment, new proposal, whatever it may be, even the very agriculture farm bills, immediately you can go for, you know, direct forms of democracy, the plebiscite referendum recall. Once for that, you know, the internet penetration, everything we have to take care, you know, it's not only that. But given the fact, the people's accessibility towards, you know, mobile phone, that's fantastic. And parallel, if we ensure free Wi-Fi, whatever may be. It's highly realistic also as Mark Zuckerberg said, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the democracy, you know, that uh, uh, the, the largest democracy we are talking about, you know, of course, India, that's one of the important, uh, uh, the traits we are talking about, given the fact uh, our neighborhood, you know, that uh, where mockery of democracy happening, uh, the very communist China, this side, you know, that the instability for which the, the well-known rogue nation, of course, we call the very Pakistan, you might be aware, you know, that it's completely under the dictates of, you know, the very army. Two days back also, you know, that you could witness, you know, editorials of, you know, how Imran Khan afraid of, uh, uh, otherwise, you know, became mouthpiece of, uh, uh, you know, puppeteer of the so-called army. All opposition parties, you know, that uh, crying about the army in very Pakistan. But the point is, when they come to power, they will also do the same. Yes, <laughs> that's happening. You know, that that's, that's, that's what Pakistan, given the short span of time, the change of leadership, you know, that the, the music chair. The Prime Minister post in Pakistan, how? But in India, no. We are, you know, letter and spirit. But in spite of that, it is not free from the clutches of, you know, that identity politics, you know, maybe the use of caste, use of language, rules of religion, ethnicity, region, you know, all those things, you know, that we are talking about. The, the play of identity politics, you might be aware. You know, recently also, you know, that we are yet to finalize the vaccination, but, you know, that we started giving promises. If you vote us, uh, to par eh, the vaccination. So, these are all things you come across. Of course, you know, influencing the voting behavior of the masses that has become. And the character of the institution is getting reflected in the leadership. There is a saying. And also, you know, that Yatha Praja Tata Raja. Yatha Praja Tata Sanstan. As long as the people, you know, that vote for freebies, populistic measures, you know, and, 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 and you know, that uh, 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 cash for vote scheme. In India, the people are not casting their votes, they are voting their caste and also influence of caste, caste and polity might be aware. So, when that is a scenario, how come, you know, it's not, you know, they're accusing political parties alone and also the people parallel, you know, that we have, uh, it's, don't ask what the nation has done to you, ask yourself what you have done for the nation. So, the, the democracy to be practiced letter and spirit, people should be, you know, uh, mature. Democracy heads are, there is a saying, in democracy heads are counted, not weighed. Because, you know, the majoritarian rule is part of democracy, not majoritarianism. There comes, you know, that effective, you know, that uh, uh, role on the part of majority to take care of the minorities. They should not feel insecure. They should not be fearful. The Shakinbag case, citizenship amendment bill, even uh, uh, the, the ruling dispensation, not free from the criticism that India's foreign policy completely yet to come out of the clutches of domestic politics. All these things we are talking about. So that comes, you know, that uh, uh, the correctional measures on the part of administration to some extent, you know, they are working on it. You might be aware. So it is that way, ladies and gentlemen. We can speak more, but I think it's enough, right? What is agriculture? The primary sector of Indian economy, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are talking about the very primary sector. How? More than 62% of the population engaged in agriculture. But you might be aware what happened, right? So the, 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 the growth, the subsistence economy, you know, it's not even subsistence economy. You know, that hands to mouth economy. You know, got the point now? It's not export driven economy we are talking about. 
you know it is that way and also you know that still of course during covid situation they export in different level in favor of india export is in favor of india for your kind information but you know that and uh, prior to covid situation it's totally different scenario but if you speak more you know in favor of you know the in, with, with united states of america it is in favor but with china it is in favor of china the trade deficit we have with china you know you know well it is that way we are talking about so whatever may be so this agriculture the primary sector of indian economy it's not free from problems whether you talk about you know indian agriculture is otherwise called gambling of monsoon we spoke already and uh, vagaries of monsoon and uh, you know the 16 parameters on the part of monsoon the southern oscillation el nino la nina ultimately you know that it is a, a, a delayed monsoon then denied monsoon you might be aware it is that way and, and given global warming impact you know simultaneously you feel drought as well as you know flooding in a particular locality so this vagariness you know we are talking about and also uh, the very agriculture is not a, a not for profit business and given the fact that the input cost and also the very msp it's not in favor even apmc the dismantling of apmc you know the very uh, the union administration talking about and uh, you know uh, in protest of that you know akali shromani akali dal one minister resigned of course you might be aware there punjab you know state government is in favor of going for uh, one particular legislation that goes against uh, uh, the central legislation you know the first of its kind of course but that comes role of you know president anyway without contradicting the essence of you know that the legislation you might be aware so these are all the things happening you know you might be aware it is you know there are some other states you know that uh, trying to take that issue the, the, you know agriculture farm bills what's happening in the country at present you might be aware right so when the farmers not getting proper price in terms of msp even you know the our storing facility is not proper the food grains are getting wasted on the one side we are talking about starvation uh, you know that the poverty hunger on the other side of course pds failure public distribution system failure on the other side we don't have proper storage facility that's why people spoke about shantakumar committee recommendation going for privatization of you know that the very storage facility there also we we talk about you know trade union movements opposing uh, ultimately the political parties are afraid of losing votes vote bank politics you might be aware and also the lending institutions uh, uh, and also you know even though government talking about of course the interlinking of rivers it's not free from uh, the threat from you know project tiger uh, the panna mana madhya pradesh and also it's not simple you know given water uh, related disputes of course recently thanks to kaleshwaram projects we are talking about and uh, to address uh, 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 you know that the, the irrigation needs and thanks to sardar sarovar dam like you know the projects we are talking about but in spite of that in spite of that you know that to to have successful uh, uh, you know that input in the in the case of agriculture you need money of course lending institutions of course apart from some waivers announced nowadays you know the the government is not in favor of it given the fact that you know npa the banks became bankrupt the covid situation further worsening that's what rb the financial stability report talking about you might be aware so given that particular scenario you know the stressed asset it becomes how come you can so when when agree a person who avail loan of course farmer avail loan from the institution became bad debtor he cannot approach the bank once again you might be aware I forget about that free bees, you know, six thousand uh, rupees, you know, the for uh, for poor farmers are not by the government of India. But when it comes to agriculture, when they approach intermediaries, ultimately, you know, what happened? You know, they have to lose their land. People committing suicides, you might be aware. So, Vidarbha, Purvanchal, and agriculture related protests, you come to know. But ultimately, intermediaries benefiting out of agriculture. You know, they go to the farm directly. They procure, you know, say as I I used to tell this example, right? the mango they procure for 15 rupees or 10 rupees per kg the land uh, the agricultural land itself when it comes to the market you might be aware it is 150 to 200 rupees of course logistics everything storage facility everything showroom price you know the infrastructure everything involved but the point is the intermediaries are you know the yearning benefiting out of agriculture not the very poor farmers that to small marginal farmers how they are getting affected you might be aware you know we are talking the various the schemes announced by the government of india the kisan uh, uh, the kisan card you know the, the the kisan tv also kisan schemes we are talking about in spite of that so it is not free from of course you know that though we are talking about organic farming you know the food processing industries and uh, that you can you know create in different different you know that special economic zones and also you know that the processed foods that can be exported you know that uh, uh, it is that way we are talking about and 
in our interaction with the, the global community, different, you know, that agreements with the different countries in the world, we also emphasize that, you know, that agri food processing industry. We are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, it is that way, when that's the scenario. Of course, you know that the primary sector of Indian economy and its impact on farmers, economy, and also, you know, the, the growth of economy, and, uh, you know, that, you know, the, the, it, it's, it's, it's association with, you know, that international institutions, so whether you talk about the World Trade Organization subsidy or trade facilitation protocol, and even 75th year, you know, that uh, running for food and agriculture organization, where India's contribution, we have to talk about. And in spite of that poverty, hunger, very recently, you know, that uh, the World Food Program that has been, you know, conferred Nobel Prize for price, Nobel Prize for, you know, that the peace you might be aware. All these things, you know, interlinked. The Jumbo Ministry, of course, the, the very, uh, the Union Agricultural Ministry, what are all the initiatives taken, the budget allocation, economic survey, everything, part and parcel we are talking about. Of course, you know, that ladies and gentlemen, it is that way, you know, that you please try to understand. And what are all the, you know, that are agreements with, you know, other countries, you know, that uh, to benefit, even with Israel, you know, the sprinkling, drip irrigation, the technology of Israel we employ here. The scientific agriculture, of course, you might be aware. They converted, you know, the very desert into oasis. You might be aware. So, in what way we can benefit? So all these things we are talking about, you know, that. So, the very agriculture, Indian agriculture is otherwise called, you know, that Indian economy is otherwise called subsistence economy, not surplus economy. But Indian agriculture especially, the farmers, uh, they don't, you know, that they don't even get the money back what they put. Uh, in the name of agriculture, you might be aware. That's why, you know, that uh, they give up, they sell, apart from an encroachment from land mafia, the real estate, you know, mafia, or even the government encroachments, the name of special economic zones, or eight lane projects, when you talk about Tamil Nadu, the Jindal projects, right. So, apart from that encroachment, it becomes not for a profit business, they give up, ultimately they migrate to urban areas, might be aware, right. To stop them in their own place, the government has to announce scheme. I think UPA itself announced now uh, this, you know, the BJP administration also continuing that you might be aware. Mandrega, Mahatma Gandhi, National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Eradicate poverty, provide employment, especially rural areas, especially rural poor and women, and also creation of rural assets, you might be aware. All these things we are talking about. Subsistence economy, it is not an export driven economy, right? And, and, and we, we should, you know, augment our resources. Anyway, thanks to the Green Revolution, India achieved self-sufficiency in food grains, but in spite of that, in spite of that, we are talking about, you know, that the, the, whether it is dairy or food grains, and even, you know, that uh, the very hunger when we are talking about, it should be uh, the core cereals, and also, you know, that the balanced diet when you talk about, you know, the equal production of, you know, the, the proteins and, and also fat, we are talking about, still we are importing oil from, you know, that uh, 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 the palm oil and all from uh, the vegetables, the vegetable oil, you might be aware. It's part of import import list, you might be. So, that talks about we are running short of the fat and all those stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, so it is subsistence economy. To feed the people, we got agriculture. Otherwise, you know, whether it is Food Security Act, National Food Security Act, to feed our people, we have to do agriculture. Where we got problem in terms of free electricity or subsidy, where we are opposed by developed countries, the international Kaufman choice, where you call World Trade Organization. Ladies and gentlemen, not only that, and genetic engineering approved appraisal committee and also BT cotton, BT brinjol, you know, what's the, the moratorium in the beginning, now it's given approval and Maco, Monsanto like companies, how, you know, it's going to be, the complications in future will be, and also the organic farming, it will be, you know, it, it's a promise, it, it has got a future, but the point is the costly, five times it is costly. It, it talks about affordability then. And rich gets richer, poor gets poor. Again, the, the region, you know, widening inequality we are talking about. So, all round, you know, the, the things we are talking about and the role of R&D and role of agriculture universities, everything. So, whatever may be the Indian economy, especially agricultural dependent economy, dependent economy, it's not export driven economy. It is simply subsistence economy. Still, the people below poverty line. Still, people, you know, that the hungry, we are talking about, you know, the global hunger index also putting ourselves very low, below, you know, Bangladesh, it's a recent shame, you know, that the government is working towards to fix it, you might be aware. Yes, that's fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, what is federalism, might be aware, what is federalism? Yes, yes. So, you know, that where you talk about, you know, that, that there will be strong union associated with, you know, that subsidiary state administration. They work together. That's what federalism. 
you know that whereas in the united states of america you got confederation that's totally different scenario the confederation where you know that they got dual citizenship they got you know that uh, the very national administration as well as state administration the, the the states can secede away from the nation when they want to do that that's why they got dual citizenship but you know that's confederation you know that that's totally different arrangement but whereas here in india we copied from you know that the canadian uh, the borrowed from the Canada constitution, you might be aware, the federalism, the two kinds of administration. Otherwise, administration or governance is shared between two entities, one at the center, another one at the state level. Of course, with state, uh, the, we talk about state's autonomy also. Uh, they go at their own freedom in their respective jurisdiction, you might be aware. So, this federalism we are talking about and to enforce that, you know, you talk about uh, uh, the Finance Commission Article 280 and uh, Niti Aayog to take care of them, you know, that uh, uh, National Development Council, you know, that uh, uh, Interstate Council we are talking about and role of governor also, you know, that uh, acting as agent of the central government and, and to be, you know, the constitutional head of the state. You might be aware, it is that way we are talking about. So, here the federal, federalism is a principle, you know, that uh, for the smooth functioning of the two levels of administration. Of course, it is not free from the frictions given the fact at the Niti Aayog summit how you know, the western and southern states of India coming together, you know, we are not proportionately honored for all our performance, you know, that we are not given incentives. Even in the Finance Commission, they raise this question. Of course, Finance, 15th Finance Commission has assured them performance-based incentives because you know well, when, when you control your population, you, there is a possibility you may lose your representation from your seats, number of the, the population dependent, you know, MPs we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So, that is why you know that the representation of people like has frozen you know that uh, the population of 1971 you might be aware but 15th finance commission once again talking about it's going to be you know that uh, uh, 2011 census that's why the bone of contention again it became controversial so the, the the nation and states coming together to meet the goals the goals of the nation the objectives of the nation or or even uh, we became you know a signatory to the multilateral treaties at the global whether millennium development goals of course gone but we are talking about you know uh, the very uh, the United Nations organization, international or multilateral financial institutions or even, uh, 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 the, you know, the, the very uh, uh, sustainable development goals we are talking about. So, we work, you know, that on the, on the one hand, you know, the cooperation among the states and, and you know, that and central administration or on the other hand, you know, between uh, the, the central administration and any one of the states we are talking about. So, cooperation, the federalism, cooperative federalism we are talking about you know that it's not entering into conflict it's not entering into struggle also you know that there can be healthy competition in terms of you know growth improvement of course even the bimara states we find and uh, whether it is you know the panchayat raj institution where we are talking about one third of reservation uh, states like rajasthan and bihar they've gone to the extent of more than 50 percent of reservation for women why one third 50, you know that 50 60 percent you know that we are talking about in some states so so that general positive you know though we say the bimara states you know very poor weak states we are talking about and uh, the growth story of you know all the developed uh, uh, the states in the, in the western other states completely eaten away by bimara though we are talking about there are green pastures also green picture green scenario promising scenarios also it's general you have to understand so you know that it is it, there should be healthy competition for that benefit. The competition, where you talk about southern states, western states coming together, even some of the southern states, you know, that started arguing in the, in the Niti Aayog summit saying that, you know, we are not proportionally compensated. For every 100 rupees we pay, we are paid back only 42 rupees under Finance Commission Article 280. But whereas these, you know, Bimara states, they are paid back 220 rupees. All this conflict. So, the, the you know, people crying for their own share, even the disaster management, that should be fund allocation. As I said, you know, that uh, the representation of people like, of course, you know, uh, the delimitation of constituencies, you know, that uh, 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 the population should be frozen to 1971. It should not be the population based on, you know, 2011 census. You know, it is that way. People not ready to lose, you know, whether it is, you know, GST. The, the, the states lost, you know, ultimately because of that, the compensation for which very recently central government also fixed the anomaly in terms of varying different interests. They can also go for borrowing to the tune of around 77,000 uh, crores per, you know, the uh, state level. Because Kerala was about to approach, you might be, uh, take legal route, approaching, you know, that Supreme Court. Some of the states also trying to follow that. It's fortunately, it got fixed. 
that, you know that is that we are talking about so whether it is gst all other measures you know finance commission or a role of garner you know that uh, sometimes you know you know very well all these things we are talking about there is even the election commission and uh, you know that uh, their crime otherwise you know all democratic institutions should not be maligned they should not go against opposition ruling states uh, against you know that the ruling dispensation at the center so where the, the role of you know the uh, the misuse or abuse of the role of governor uh, you know you might be aware you know that sometimes uh, the raj bhavan you know that becomes you know center place for horse trading you know you might be aware and uh, uh, the marriage of inconvenience also, also we are talking about in the name of alliances all these things let us join the anti incumbent factor what may be so yes so the competitive federalism and cooperative federalism are extended features of the very federalism feature we are talking about ladies and gentlemen and also populistic measures what do you mean by populistic measures are you aware it's otherwise called freebies it's otherwise called affirmative action huh? you know that it is that you know there is a chinese proverb we are keep on emphasizing what is that don't give fish share the technology of fishing if, if you share the fish probably it may give it may give you know the temporary solution it's not giving a, a, a lifelong support you know if you share the technology of fishing you you honor the dignity in an individual you you make him realize make her realize you know the self respect that goes long way it is that way it is gentlemen we are talking about but but you know that indian elections you know that indian democracy exercise you can never speak without the employment of populistic measures all political parties competing to appeal to influence the voting behavior of the masses either by cash or kind you might be aware what is that you know that uh, they'll give cycle they'll give you know of course noon mill scheme uh, thanks to uh, the late uh, uh, k kamaraj you know that uh, the very you might be aware you know that uh, the statesman in indian politics a kingmaker you know kamaraj you might be aware and also you know that late mgr also you know that followed that and even the, uh, uh, the andhra of course you know that uh, 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 os reddy of course you know uh, rajshree reddy my osr you might be aware you know that the very uh, mandregas you know that prelude was done there later it was embraced throughout india you might be aware so, so all these things what we are talking about you know political parties competing each other for freebies to influence the voting behavior of the masses to the laptop free laptop and uh, you know uh, uh, free cycle free scooter recently in tamil nadu we are talking free chappal free tv <laughs> all these things you know that it is that way you know all gimmicks electoral gimmicks and also cash for vote scheme the rk nagar constituency what happened you might be aware it is that way so these populistic measures what we are talking about the affirmative schemes you know that you might be article 15 of indian constitution you might be knowing very well it is prohibition of discrimination of people in terms of caste race religion sex or gender you might be knowing but in, in spite of that 15 within bracket 4 16 within bracket 4 you are talking about nothing in this article shall prevent a state from providing special provisions for weaker section and minorities you might be aware people are also discriminated with you of protecting them it's called protective discrimination positive discrimination you also discriminate here with view of with, with, with your view of protecting them so it's it's not equality it's to it's it's to understand their unique problem it's called equity from equality to equity to understand the unique problems historical reason people hitherto got oppressed suppressed due to caste system or historical reasons they should be you know that uh, uh, given some concessions so that you know by reservation even you know the general category we started giving 10% reservation and also the obc the other backward classes the creamy rare of course 27% reservation you know you might be aware we are talking about everything mandal commission recommendation everything even scst reservation we are talking about even uh, the women you know the, the minorities and, and physically challenged special people reservation we are talking you know in terms of minorities linguistic and religious minorities in india so article you know the 29 30 you might be aware well part of fundamental rights we are talking about ladies and gentlemen so the populistic measures there comes a responsibility on the part of the states to work towards you know because it is welfare nation notion capacity building should be so the the, the, the roti kapda makan you have to take care after that you know they will get you know self respect they will start working towards it so that's why even corporate supporting this the beginning it's almost which is equivalent to social security mechanisms on the part of developed countries it's not saying that we make our people complacent lazy you know parasite like what about social security mechanisms on the part of developed countries which is equivalent to this that's all 
when you got obama care why not modi care modi care of course you know the aishman bharat scheme the 50 crore members you know enrolled indian indian obama care of course modi care we are talking about of course that talks about you know that uh, the health facilities everything uh, 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 the health insurance scheme mechanisms you might be aware but in spite of that you know that the, the the investment towards social sectors you know that to be improved to the tune of you know this 12 percent both you know education and health it comes around only 7.7 .7, you might be aware 7.7 percent .7 of gdp should go to the 12 percent of course thanks to new education policy talking about six percent of you know the gdp share but it should be implemented mammoth task with the support of state and also in the health sector it's around you know you might be aware so you know that it is uh, 1.69 percent of gdp so we have to work out in such a way so when you provide you know that all those things people won't depend people won't wait for government it's not begging at the of course it's our money taxpayers money it's not begging at the hands of government they will have self-respect they will use that social security card to avail you get even 50 percent 60 percent taxation so it is that way you know that it's you you also want tax you want everything and making them you know the dependent on you that's very bad situation so on the one side, you can justify in the name of capacity building. At the same time, people once got enabled, they have to give way to other people. They have to move to the next level. There comes obligation. We have to take care of others also. You have been protected, right? You have come to the next level. Now it's your turn to take care of others. You should have that tendency. It's not keep on waiting. They keep on becoming complacent, you know, the parasite. So that is that is the thing we are talking about. That has got its own impact in the in the World Bank politics. The, the choice of leadership. Yata Raja. Yatta Praja Tata Raja, Yatta Praja Tata Sanstan. We are talking about, you know, that it is that way. You know, it is the nature of the people getting reflected in the leadership also. As long as people are ready to compromise, how come you can expect, you know, that you are a moral leader? <laughs> then what is the use? You know, that that's what, uh, you know, the, the character of the leader is getting reflected in the, you know, the institution people is getting reflected in the nature of the people also. That is what we are talking about, of course, you know that. So, the populistic measures, of course, we are talking about. Yes, so it's it's about freebies. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about policy. Para because, you know, why it is justified? Welfare nation notion. You know that uh, there comes responsibility on the part of the government to work towards social justice, to reduce, you know, the, the widening gap between rich and poor, and to take care of, you know, the downtrodden, Dalits, uh, weaker section, minorities. There it is getting justified, you might be able so that's why you know that directive principles of state policy we are talking about you know there comes your duty also part of fundamental duty it's not only talking about fundamental rights the constitution also speaks about fundamental duties 11 duties without discharging duties you can never talk about your rights ladies and gentlemen that way so policy paralysis it talks about you know that we lack you know the policy it is otherwise wrong policy otherwise policy with shortcomings lacune we are talking about, of course, you know, that you, you have to understand, you know, uh, 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 the, the people elected to representatives may not be having the, that much expertise, especially, you know, given the fact looks about 545 members, you know, that may be just adult franchisee, so that the people's, maybe he may be having good intention or popularity among people and he gets elected. This is apart from negativity, what I am talking about. So, let us let's think positively, genuinely, maybe the popularity among the people he became leader, but he may not be having expertise to add value in a particular legislation. So, the parliament itself has got various committee commissions, you might be aware. Uh, so, there they involve, you know, that the people with expertise to enrich, to scrutinize various portfolios, departments, and where they take, you know, the members from, you know, the both ruling and opposition and both Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, you might be aware. So, to enrich, uh, you know, that, that there will be, you know, the Pakka policy. Are, are you know that the framework to address the spread to address the needs of the people but in spite of that you know we are talking about you know that uh, there are a lot of policies otherwise policy is not you know uh, uh, reflecting the, the true intention of uh, the ground reality on the part of the people so that's what we are talking about see otherwise it may be ivory tower approach what we call you know that it's impractical you decide something it's not percolating down the trickle down economics or trickle down theory is not working what you conceive is not percolating down to the original masses we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So, it is it's either absence of policy or faulty or wrong policy or the policy itself shortcomings. You know, that is what we are talking about. For, you know that yeah, with, for, for a single objective, you know that you got various, you know that uh, centrally sponsored schemes in various departments. It is a waste of money. 
what happened the moment they come to oh it's there let me not do this so nobody is implementing ultimately the, the, the underutilized or unutilized funds you know they uh, uh, you know ultimately goes back to the government Sometimes even World Bank given a sanctioned loans are also underutilized, unutilized. These are all the things we come across. So improper coordination existing among you know that the, the various departments where it is not a policy paralysis, it is paralysis of implementation. More than 440 programs, centrally sponsored programs have been you know that reduced to the level of 40 poor schemes you might be aware. Reason the things happen it is that way. So it is not absence, sometimes absence of policy. Even one third of reservation for women, all political parties, you know, coming together unanimously to defeat that bill. Even Lokpal will be at, you know, Lokpal. So what's happening? You know that we are talking about it. So though we are talking about all these things, it's a policy paralysis. It's still patriarchal society. Still male chauvinistic. Uh, the nature of the society getting reflected. Even one third of reservation that we gave on the part of you know Panchayat Raj institution, where women are not allowed to function properly. And sometimes Dalit women are asked to sit on the floor. They are not allowed to sit on par with other members. That happened recently in Tamil Nadu. You would have seen the news also. In nearing election, all political party competing, you know, that and, and approaching that lady, you know, that uh, 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 the victim uh, to say that, you know, we are for social justice. Huh? It, is, it is a tip of an iceberg. There are so many things which you do not know. You know, that that's, that's what the true nature, you know, the patriarchal nature, you know, we do not give one third of reservation for women. Uh, you know that it is that way no space for so the paralysis of implementation in implementation you got a lot of issues we are talking about red tapeism procedural delay uh, uh, technological aversion on the part of you know that the very employees the complacency on the part of employees we are talking about maybe the political loyalty and also the trade union movements we are talking about improper coordination and the lack of awareness on the part of the people though you got you know that uh, thanks to the parivartan movement you know uh, whether it is Aruna Asaf, you know that, uh, 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 you know that uh, uh, Aruna Rai, you know that and also Madam Aruna Rai and uh, this, you know that uh, uh, the Honorable Chief Minister, of course, Arvind Kejival we are talking about, uh, even so whatever may be, the point is, you know, Right to Information Act we are talking about. So, in spite of that, the democratization of information we are talking about, in spite of that, people yet to have, you know, that proper awareness about various schemes, various benefits they can avail. So, that becomes easy. For exploitation uh, on the part of you know that are the government officials who is nexus with you know that the corrupt politicians ultimately you might be aware so you know you, you won't believe let me tell you one story you know that otherwise i want you know the people throughout india you may not be knowing the story let me tell you otherwise most of the people already have a it is covid corruption are you aware of this covid corruption during covid situation you know what happened right all liquor shops in tamil nadu closed but what happened you know that officially it's closed but in the open market, you know that all, all, you know, the political parties, both political parties, <laughs> you know, that the leaders of that particular locality shared, you know, that they sold on the stock, you know, that it is so, sold, but you know, the five to six times we hear the liquor, you know, that sales, even it, this is COVID corruption. But people, you know, that ultimately, you know, that saying that I eradicated, you know, the corona, nothing happened, you know, you know, very well, the, the, you know, that the cases are rising, the reality is different scenario. Reality is ground reality is totally different. What is that? So paralysis of implementation we are talking about. Officially it is locked down. Officially liquor shops close. But every street, you know, with small, small Maruti cars, you know, the political leaders, they themselves sold to the tune of, you know, that we hear it, it came around, you know, 200 crores plus. We hear through official resources. This is unofficial report. Please, you know, that I leave it to your judgment. So paralysis of implementation. People never walk that talk. Ladies and gentlemen, these are all the things happening. You know, it's ultimate, it's not a policy paralysis. We have paka policy, but paralysis of implementation, lack of implementation, given corruption, nepotism, you know, cronyism, you know, favoritism we are talking about. Otherwise, you know, lack of morality, you know, that's what, that's what we are talking about. You know, it is, that, it's, it's not accusation, it is, it's what ground reality, ladies and gentlemen, you know, starting from recruitment to and, and, and disposal of a particular project from bidding to disposal, you know the story. Even the very Tamil Nadu government officially announced as 43 percent, you know, the com commission government, you know, it came in newspaper also. You know, rest of the states. You please check in your states what's happening. So, corruption has become part of life. Of course, it may be called, you know, embezzlement in Chanakya days, but today you see. <laughs> You know, it is that way, in kind also. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about this and all the issues we encounter. It is that way. So that's why, you know, that there, they, of course, even straightforward leader, you know, that they come to the power over the days, you know, they compromise. 
for say for some sake otherwise they'll be sidelined you might be aware well aware otherwise they'll be going to you know that mazuri eh? and you know that uh, you know uh, that miss amuda you might be aware ias and she is very straightforward lady and she is there in mazuri well known for her administration eh? that's why you know what happened they will be sidelined they will be they will be meant for training people <laughs> it is that way you know they will be acting as an obstacle in the path of you know that implementation yeah because corruption the efficiency goes with corruption also we are talking about of course i parallelly justify this notion yes you got state reorganization we are talking about right of course 1953 you know state reorganization act you might be aware andhra kesari putti sri ramulu women for indefinite fast we wanted separate andhra pradesh to be carved out of you know madras province associated violence his death uh, during fast that triggered and also the, the various violence in different parts of the uh, the country you know the when states were you know bifurcated in terms of language state reorganization linguistic creation of states you might be aware you know that straight reorganization where we are talking about you know this is what those days language has become agenda for creation of linguistic creation of states jvp committee jawala nehru committee vallabhai patel you know that uh, uh, patabi sitaram ayer you know jvp committee dhar committee you would have heard about state reorganization you know that a big states got you know that uh, became smaller states and uh, the states formation new states creations in the name of you know that language on linguistic basis but what over the days what happened language is no more agenda development is that an agenda for the creation of new state you understand no? language is no more agenda development is the agenda it is gentlemen we are talking about it. it is that way so when that is a scenario what is that you talk about you know that smaller the states better the administration the very uttar pradesh you might be aware a, a political party which is which has got strong hold in up is capable of you know the deciding Uh, 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 the central rule, you know, eighty-four seats over the days. You might be aware. So you know that today we are talking about you know that the creation, the, the Uttarakhand, you know that uh, Chhattisgarh, and you know that the Jharkhand, you know that the creation, you know that you might be aware. Smaller the state, better the administration. The agenda ultimately became the development agenda taken into account. You know that we are talking about the the, the creation of states. Very recently, out of Andhra Pradesh, within Andhra Pradesh, you know very well the the, the state of Telangana, Telangana movement. you know that you might be aware the telangana state came you're talking about it is that 29th state of india you might be aware so the language is no more agenda for the state's creation development is the agenda for the state's creation because you know what happens right the very state administration will be completely exploiting the resources they are not paid back that particular region people not properly taken care of rather the city administration they are thriving on these resources they are not paid back that's the crime that created telangana movement it became successful The, the, you know the state of telangana we are talking about same is the case with pakistan the balochistan where the resources are completely you know exploited by the pakistan administration the balochistan province they are not taken care of that's why they got rebellion there but you know the, the china pakistan economic corridor they got you know on that so that to quell the rebellion they got chinese forces presence see the pakistan strategy and also they accuse recently india especially the united nation organization that we have got our own role in balochistan india indulging in cross border terrorism eh? you see development agenda cutting across states you might be aware ladies and gentlemen so this is state reorganization where you know very well smaller the states better the administration even the, the judicial reorganization we are talking about judicial de decentralization of course we spoke about grama nyayalaya bill uh, why only one supreme court why can't be the regional supreme courts you know every time you can't go to delhi of course you know in tamil nadu you got you know uh, 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 high court and also madurai bench the same way why can't you have you know that four uh, regional supreme courts uh, you know that it's not uh, 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 liquidating the very purpose of supreme court why centralization go for decentralization why consolidation it has got associated you know productivity loss people travel people come go and you know you know very well or speedy disposal of cases you may be talking about given the fact right justice delayed justice denied you might be aware so it is that way we can walk towards of course the panchayat raj system p r i panchayat raj institutions ladies and gentlemen we are talking about what is that it's it's otherwise called local self government taking the administration to the grassroots level taking the democracy to the grassroots level you might be aware the lord ribbon even you know that uh, the very corporation where my friend is there as commissioner of course prakash ayes 
and uh, you know of course the lord ripon belly earlier my uncle adorned the post dr kartik and i is i remember even today you see the lord ripon building when you come to chennai you will see lord ripon building that lord ripon is well known for introduction of local self government you know you might be aware so it is that way you talk about you know the democratic decentralization or local self government otherwise taking the administration to the grassroots level village level you know that block level and district level we are talking about ladies and gentlemen taking the the very democracy to the grassroots level three tier system we are calling you know that village block district three tier system this is balwant rai mehta committee recommendation based on that we are talking about this panchayat raj system you know you might be aware so it, it, it's not consolidating everything you know that's what you know those days i am talking about today we have to calculate again once you know the rajiv gandhi was the prime minister of india he said to put 1 rupee in the hands of the poorest of the poor government has to spend 24 rupees why it's because of the distance the procedural delay everything so taking the the, the fund meant for the people directly to that particular you know local body new state finance commission of course you know well so that's what you know the central government you know that the you know procedural delay it's in the process you you consume you know that you spend money more that that way it's not the very intention is not served here we are talking about so that's why the panchayat raj system of course where we are talking about you know 73rd 74th constitutional amendment article 243 associated the panchayat extension services act also we are talking about and uh, you might be aware everything ladies and gentlemen i think it is that way so the trickle down theory we are talking about it is regonomics otherwise you know by going for uh, 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 the taxation you know that reducing the taxation on on wealthy people especially you know that you ultimately take care of supply chain management so otherwise that takes economy to the next level but it is that way so otherwise uh, uh, the, the intentions of the government is percolating down to the masses that's what you know that the president of united states of america reagan communicated it is otherwise called regnomics trickle down theory the intentions of the government should percolate down to the masses we are talking about that he spoke about the reduction of taxation on wealthy population so that you know the economy moves to the next level it is that way this is all the terms on the part of economy of course the administration we employ here of course i very tower approach also is is in that tone what is that it is impractical you got you know theoretical ideas that can never be put into practice say for example you know the, the people sitting in the 14th floor centralized eaz they are deciding how to put 1 rupee in the hands of the poorest of the poor not knowing the ground reality you want to know really how the victims you know that uh, got affected by the flood you have to visit the place you you hear nowadays you know the central team visiting prime minister had aerial view you know chief minister along with prime minister had aerial view though mamta and you know that modi you know that they sat together and and aerial view flood affected west bengal you know in the, in the name of administration it is justified you understand the ground reality then they'll be sanctioning out of you know that uh, the emergency fund you know the relief fund you know consolidated fund of india you might be of course contingency fund of india the fund is released you might be aware so that that should be proportionate to the impact it should not be mere theoretical approach it should be pragmatic so team should come to the ground realities visit in, should interact with the people whether it is you know oki whether it is you know that gaja you know uh, all those you know that the storms you know that the devastation so india you know that nowadays given global warming vagaries of monsoon the disaster management you might be have a national disaster disaster management authority we have in spite of that you know we, we are unable to protect given cyclone and you know that the vulnerability the kakinada rail sima yeah it is that way you know that uh, uh, the monsoon we are talking about you know that we are vulnerable so how well prepared we are it should be realistic it should be relevant all those measures it should not be mere theoretical announcement it should be practical it should make dent it should make difference in the lives of people it's not simply making statements you should make difference in the lives of people we are talking about you know it is that way ladies and gentlemen so that's what our our say so i very tower approach is otherwise called impractical or theoretical approach it should be very practical we are talking about you know fundamental right that talks about right of every citizen you know that even aliens they have some rights that's totally different scenario as a citizen of this nation what are all the rights you have so part of indian constitution the part 3 of indian constitution especially article 12 to 35 you got various rights you might be aware it, which is said to be part and parcel of the basic structure of the constitution any law passed when it is violating the fundamental right that could be declared null and void because which is happen to be a part and parcel of the basic structure of the indian constitution so it's not outrightly 
said what are all the basic structures by, by understanding the evolved. Oh, these are all the basic structures, rule of law, fundamental right, you know, all those stuff. Sometimes, you know, there came conflict, you know, which is uh, higher, which is lower, uh, with the directive principles of state policy or fundamental right. You know, when Dragan, the administration, you know, that consolidated in such a way through 42nd constitutional amendment, what happened, you might be knowing. But the Keshavan of the Bharati, you know, he was no more this year, of course, passed away, you might be aware. The Keshavan of the Bharati case we are talking about. Any, any, you know, that uh, 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 law passed by, you know, that uh, uh, legislature that could be declared null and void when they go against the basic structure of the constitution of India, fundamental right happen to be, right. You got, you know, where article, you know, that 32, 226 through which you enforce your rights, you know, that uh, that's what article 32, Dr. Ambedkar rightly put it, heart and soul of the constitution, because, you know, the, uh, 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 the keys to the constitutional remedies he's talking about you know you got various red jurisdiction through which you can enforce but in spite of that you know because of the thing you are given fundamental right it's not absolute right ladies and gentlemen you have to understand it's not absolutely you are you are granted you know that particular right you know you got reasonable restriction your freedom should not be at the cost of you know somebody else's freedom right you got reasonable restrictions the way with which what you do when it goes against national integration affects law and order and you know that it cannot be tolerated. You might be, even during emergency situation, except Article 21, right to uh, life and liberty, rest of the articles, of course, the fundamental rights will be suspended. Hope you are aware. Very recently, Supreme Court judgment, you know, that the right to privacy, because you know, we, we are living in the world, data, you know, that providing data in the name of Aadhaar card, how safe, secure they are, and uh, you know, whether data is a commodity, whether human beings are manipulated, you know, you know very well, you know, that once you search something in your social media, the most of the things becomes, you know, later sponsored, sponsored, like the algorithm works in such a way, right? So, they understand your nature accordingly, all the products, you know, ultimately, you know, uh, 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 popping there, you might be aware. So, you know, it's a suggestive, but influencing your, you know, that uh, consumerism tendency, it's that way. So, given that way, how secure we are, how you can protect your data, what is the privacy you have, are you under surveillance, we are talking about, it is that way. So, everything, you know, that, so... Uh, the right to privacy also part and parcel of the fundamental right. Nine judge member bench Supreme Court, you might be aware. And you know all those things we are talking about. This is, you know, one of the important, uh, the provisions on the part of the constitution, fundamental right, you might be aware. Of course, the Bill of Rights of USA, uh, we copied, borrowed, we have part of our constitution. You know, you, you know very well. The linguistic chauvinism, I said somebody, you know, some people say chauvinism, whatever may be the pronunciation, chauvinism, what is the point? You feel proud of your language, <laughs> nothing wrong, it should not be at the cost of somebody else's life. After all, language is a tool, an instrument of communication, language is a vehicle of the culture and you know in the name of honoring your language, who asked you to belittle somebody else's language and also you should not force your language on somebody else. What about the freedom on the part of an individual or you go against the, the, the freedom to learn, freedom to you know the uh, freedom of expression and speech in that sense, you know who gave you authority? Even new education policy talks about freedom, but how it is going to be implemented, that's a cry. You know, that some apprehensions from some states, you know, that whether uh, the, the, the trilingual formula, you know, will they be, the teachers will be properly appointed, you know, what's your agenda like that. So it's not against, you know, that uh, local lingua franca, but the implementation will say, you know, in what the letter and spirit of that particular policy is going to be implemented or not. So you feel proud about your language. In the name of language, the, the, the demand for separate states you know, that uh, happened in the past, but separate country also, you know, the, during CNE another the former chief minister of Tamil Nadu, uh, separate Tamil Nadu and ultimately, you know, that Nehru threatened, you know, that national gunda acts uh, will be, that time, you know, that left, you might be aware, given nation was undergoing a lot of troubles, he uh, wasn't having the tendency to pressurize, otherwise, you know, the tendency, there should be separate Tamil Nadu, centrifugal tendencies. The name of, uh, why, why can't there be separate, you know, that, uh, United States of South India and given if, if the central administration is becoming indifferent to the needs of western and southern states, uh, uh, whether it is, you know, that share of resources part of finance commission, whatever may be and, and that, you know, they have to take care, you know, it is that way. So, it, it, that's what in democracy, rejection leads to isolation. It should be inclusive governance. There should not be regional imbalances. If the government is not properly addressing the issue, whether it is through interstate council, Niti Aayog and the role of governor. 
our national development council even finance commission the 280 what we are talking about you know the, when when the federalism uh, uh, principle is not strictly adhered to when state states autonomy is compromised it will have different direction we are talking about so hope you know that the central government will understand this india that is bharat shall be union of state because the will of the union prevails over states but at the same time you know that of course in strong center it's no problem when when there is going to be coalition politics the regional shatraps will have their own influence it alters the equation that goes against the development agenda then attracting you know the stability of the government or even attracting foreign you know that in, uh, direct investment you know that uh, that becomes even honoring multilateral treaties everything becomes you know chaos you might be aware so we have to take into account we have to uh, uh, the cooperative federalism letter and spirit spirit you know should be practiced so what are all the demands you know that even the demands for purvanchal vidarbha states we are talking about so the, the centrifugal tendencies that there are some forces states want to go away from the center we already discussed about it so language should not be the criteria but here we are talking about that chauvinism leads to that centrifugal tendency the feeling of you know that uh, the proudness the pride self pride about your language even there is a saying in tamil tamilan endru sollada thalai nimirndu nilada okay i appreciate you fantastic but this particular you know that, that says you feel, say you are tamilian feel proud okay that's good within tamil nadu in front of tamilians okay when there are people speaking other languages you should not be little them every language has got its own plus and minus but no doubt no question about it one of the oldest languages uh, uh, in india the tamil the classical language we appreciate you we salute you and also you know that there should be enough space for other languages too and it's not like you know trying to impose one particular language over regional language but that comes another question let me also speak about this of course you know that the colonial mindset we you know that uh, uh, the british colonization we got exposed to english language macaulay minutes you are very happy to speak english but you are not ready to embrace national language why it is language based politics let me tell you gone are the days that the people necessity is mother of invention of course if out of your you know that's what political parties also to some extent clear let me believe that way so out of your curiosity you can learn language you know that uh, by force you should not be you should not be forced to language you know that uh, learn a particular language that's wrong that goes against your fundamental right that goes against state autonomy otherwise you know that if you destroy language you destroy the culture and do you want to practice same macaulay minutes once again like promotion of you know english education so a lot of you know the debate centered around this all these you know the different angles will be helpful for you to think that way so that your answer you know that touching multifaceted aspects of your essay delivery ladies and gentlemen when that is the scenario we are talking about the reservation system of course you know that even populistic measures we spoke free bees welfare nation notion social justice you know arresting you know that social inequality otherwise you want to establish you know that egalitarian society where everything is for everyone in that note you address free bees uh, uh, the affirmative schemes positive programs and uh, all welfare schemes you know meant for uh, the minorities downtrodden scst dalit people even women children the vulnerable people you know the transgender even and uh, even lgbt community we are talking about ladies and gentlemen it is that way. so we we check into account you know that so the reservation system is all about you know it is it is not equality i want you to move from it's not for mere level, level playing field you have to understand equity when you talk about equity it says you know you understand the unique problem of every individual unique you know the issues of every individual you try to fix it one shoe cannot fit everyone fit for all approach will never work ladies and gentlemen we are talking about so you understand different yardsticks for different occasion if you evaluate fish in terms of climbing tree throughout the life the fish will think it's a fool you have to you have to have different parameter to evaluate you know the, the quality of fish in maybe in terms of swimming how depth it can travel you know that's totally different scenario it is that way so reservation system is all about you know that addressing the, the unique problem on the part of every section of population there you talk about though article 15 of fundamental rights talking about prohibition of discrimination 15 within bracket 4 16 within bracket 4 we are talking about whether it is article you know that the 30 29 the, the minority of course in you know, article 17 even you know article 23 24 and article 45 in uh, you know that uh, 175 164 article 330 338 340 342 even article 370 recently you know that all those things we are talking about of course you know that unique 
you know that you understand unique problems on the part of the people even article 371a fifth schedule sixth schedule of the constitution yes ladies and gentlemen we are talking about reservation system is all about to provide level playing field people hitherto oppressed and suppressed you know that they, they are they are gone to this level and you know that the people are here so you know that they should be elevated to some extent so as to have level playing field it's not for equality over the days you realize it's not equality it is equity you understand their problem you address their needs by reservation so every 10 years you know that that particular amendment keep on you know extended you might be aware you know that 24th amendment 69th amendment 81st amendment everything we are talking about ladies and gentlemen so that reservation system for protective discrimination you also discriminate with the, with the view of protecting people it's a positive discrimination it's a preferential treatment that you extend to a particular section of the population justifying in the name of article 15 4 16 within bracket 4 that says nothing in this article shall prevent a state or central government from providing uh, you know that a special provision for weaker section and minority you might be aware obc reservation mandal commission recommendation and also uh, the 10 percent of reservation for general category you might be aware and creamy layer notion even SCST also, you know that, uh, you know, upper caste, all upper caste people are not rich people, all lower caste people are not poor people. Social back, back, backwardness over, socio-educational backwardness, okay. What about economic backwardness? That's why the creamy layer notion. Even SCST you should get implemented. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, the medical, uh, uh, the seats, of course, you know, PG reservation, very recently Supreme Court saying that it's not going to be implemented, you know, the 50% of reservation this year, probably next year. And even within the state, 7% uh, of the reservation for, you know, that local, the government schools, you know, the students for need, you know, that uh, based, you know, that uh, the medical admissions, you know, all these things reservation related, you might be aware. How central government, how, what are all the Supreme Court judgment, what are all the committee commissions involved, how effective the, the state administration in implementing letter and spread, who are all the receiving in, and what grounds you justify, what are all the challenges everything what we are talking about at a reservation system ladies and gentlemen it is that way we spoke at length you know that anything you know that by illegal means illegal gratification corruption you know that so the, the very corruption you know in movies also you know that you would have been aware the very corruption in india the very corruption in abroad in corruption in abroad to to, to violate the duty to de deviate from the accepted norms and rules and regulation but in india even to do the duty you have to bribe the officials. <laughs> that is what the difference between corruption in India, corruption abroad, even movies, you know, scripts revealing this way. But what is corruption? But you don't directly see corruption. Corruption in kind, nepotism, favoritism, cronyism, lobby, the corporate driven politics, quid pro quo. Let me, let me be your sponsor. Later you take care of me once you enter into uh, the administration. Yes, the concessions. Uh, the nexus between you know the corporate on the one hand politicians on the nexus between criminals and politicians you know that even uh, 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 the, the the bureaucracy itself has become you know the corruption you know the red tapeism corruption they were accused that's why recent measures on the part of the very modi administration you might be aware you know that the lateral entry you know that uh, uh, especially the people who guard exposed to the corporate you know that efficient the proven people to be part of administration and they were opposed by, you know, that uh, the incumbent officials saying that our hands were tied by politicians, we were efficient, it is like that. You know, that, that I used to mention, if you felt, you know, your hands were tied, taking, you know, even some of my students, you know, they used to complain, this politician not allowing me, that guy, you know, even some of my students also resigned, they are doing something, you know, that they are, they are when there is a conflict between, you know, heart and brain, listen to your heart. <laughs> That's what Vivekananda says, when you are unable to discharge, you know that uh, as you you know intended throw away when you feel you know that you, you are smart in that room it is it's right time you have to change the room ladies and gentlemen that's what i'm saying when you feel your hands are tied because of the politicians all those you know that the, the systemic you know that issues throw away taking moral responsibility resign once you tender resignation the government will realize no 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 this guy we are not ready to lose this guy he is asset let him stay uh, the high echelons, the elite bureaucracy will start thinking that way. Yes, you know that they are the loser, you know that you will be appreciated somewhere. That should be the guts. It's not, you know, that part of the system and, and compromising and, and uh, you begin with compromise, you, you know, the, throughout the life you compromise. It's then finally blaming the system, no? 
I don't want you to be part of the team. You know, that you be, uh, you know, that the initiator, you know, who will build the cat. That demands, you know, that ethics, morality on your part. We're talking about, of course, you know, that 100% it may not be possible. You know, you, you think about idealism, at least, at least. If not, you know, money, people are power mongering. If not money, uh, you know, that the people are, you know, that uh, maybe the, the caste affinity, uh, the religious affinity, the favoritism we are talking about. It is that way, ladies and gentlemen, you know that, and we are talking about, of course, you know, that the, the, the various, uh, 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 the binami transaction, disproportionate asset case, you know, that, of course, the electoral reforms, you might be aware, the convicted, the persons, you know, that uh, uh, for, for two years, two and a half years, should not be allowed to contest election, you might be aware, the political corruption, judicial corruption, executive corruption, corporate corruption, right, so it is that way, you know, very well, it is that way. You know that, that that has become a way of life, style of life, ladies and gentlemen. You know that what we are talking only on paper. In practice, if you go to government service, you just today enter government office, not today, 7:30. You know that tomorrow you enter into government office. What I speak, you will realize. You know that without you know top to the bottom. You know that the nexus you hear everywhere. You know that that's why the, the whole system. You know that is you know that's what the, the ex uh, uh, the former uh, judge of the Supreme Court, uh, uh, Justice Markandeya Gadju. The whole system, you know, is dilapidated. It should be destroyed. The, there should be a new system in place. It's, you know, it may be radical in nature. He is keep on emphasizing. And when, when Modi ji administration is trying to do some disciplinary proceedings, the very opposition you might be aware. You know, he directly talks to the secretary level, all these things. You know, that, but it's not free from opposition, immediate opposition, non-cooperation from, you know, official circle. You might be aware. All these things we are talking about, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, that the ethics. Ethics is all about, you know, based on your morality. It's, a, it's, it's based on your principle, standards, practice of morality. What is right? When, when you've got choices in front of, you know, right and comfort, please choose right, not comfort. Uh, you lose your identity. Once you choose comfort, you lose your identity. It should be well thought out action. Ladies and gentlemen, so that's why, though it is taking time, you know, let me make it very clear. Let it be well thought out decision. When you got choices in front of you, right and comfort, please choose right. Don't choose comfort. If you choose comfort, you lose identity. You lose identity. Let me repeat once again. Right? Whatever may be your identity. So, because most of the best things in the world beyond your comfort zone also, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about. So, but ethics is more than law. This ethics is always more than law. I am not saying, you know, that compromising law, where the law ends, ethics begins. Sometimes you may not find solution by law. Even uh, the judges after delivering judgment, they, they, they break, you know, the, the nib of uh, the pen, you know, that you might be aware, you know, that is that why, you know, because, you know, the, the judgment they are forced to give because of the circumstantial, it is unethical decision probably. So all these things are happening, you know, sometimes, you know, people asking sorry after, after 10 years, 15 years, you know, that judgment given by me is wrong. I feel sorry like that. By the time uh, uh, the victims are no more. <laughs> Uh, justice delayed, justice denied. Yeah. So these things we come to know. You know, all these things we are talking about. Of course, ethics is more than love. When the law ends, ethics begins. That's what we are talking about. Sometimes, you know, that the conscience in you, that comes ultimately. That the intuition, the conscience, that, that guides you as long as you are moral. As long as you are moral. That, that, that's completely based on value system that you practice in your uh, brought up socialization. So, ethics is all about that. You know, that, there you talk about ethics in personal relation, social relation, uh, 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 the truth, responsibility, love and peace and justice. This is all ethics in personal and ethics in uh, social relation, the Nolan Committee recommendations you might be aware and we are talking about and also ethics in public administration. You know, that where we talk about, you know, that... Uh, 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 the very law responsibility, you know, that uh, uh, and also we talk about, you know, commitment, compassion and integrity, transparency. This is all part of, you know, that the public administration, IT, you know, that uh, 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 and fusion, how do you gel with other officials and also excellence in whatever you do and, you know, that you talk utilitarian principles and also nationalism in spirit, keep the nationalism in spirit mind and also, you know, the equity principle, you understand specific cases. A, a lady, widow lady, old lady not having papers, but she should be taken care of. As an administrative district collector, what you can do, where you have to apply equity principle, understanding unique problem on the part of, you know, that particular ladies, you know, that then compassion, you should show compassion, 
you know that's a human being you know that and and you should be sensitive to the issues you should not be insensitive so all these value systems what we are talking about ethics in public administration so what is right you know based on your morality based on standards principles where the law ends ethics begins we are talking about of course the ethics even environmental ethics we are talking about where we talk about stewardship uh, environmental ethics you know bioethics we are talking about anthropo uh, 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 ethics you know that we are talking about various ways we are you know in ethics paper you will come to know more but here ethics in public administration that's why you know that uh, uh, second administrative reform you know that uh, 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 commission talks about you know especially the, the 10th report 11th report please go through ethics and governance you will come to know you know the 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 the, the charter act you know that uh, citizens charter act and various you know the mechanisms that it's it's not only your historical the, the spiritual resources literary resources and and the, the codes of various statesmen and our you know the, the value system on the part of the society you come to know so where we talk about ethics in public administration second administrative reform commission i think these are all the pillar concepts i can't compromise ladies and gentlemen once you know understanding the topic you know that will become uh, very simpler in my opinion ladies and gentlemen i'm talking about you know it is near balkan sea how the yugos live we are you know that the very region you might be aware you know, on ethnic lines how they got shattered the balkanization is nothing but making uh, the big country into smaller scattering away you know that so you know what happened right when you give space to centrifugal tendencies on the part of india when you start you know giving a uh, 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 space to you know all those issues whether casteism communalism linguistic chauvinism regionalism um, ex ideological extremism naxalism or northeastern insurgency nagalim what we are talking about maybe religious fundamentalism if at all start you know that listening if you start you know giving space to all this or even when we are giving you know the space to widening social inequality or any policy any the governance what we do in such way that goes against you know dalits or oppressing you know that uh, 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 downtrodden people even minorities uh, feeling insecure or even you know that not taking care of you know the tribal people native indigenous people when you encourage them uh, uh, you know that if you don't you reject them it's not working towards inclusive governance in the sense definitely that will go for you know that balkanization of india so we have to be very careful that's why you know our policy framers you know the the, the people part of you know that uh, the governance very careful about it they understand in under the domain of you know internal security related issues the fix and uh, the modernization of police reforms you know that when we talk about uh, the under development pushing people to poverty you know even very united states of america the hillary rodham clinton says the covid crisis situation pushed 80 crores of you know us population into poverty very united states of america the hillary rodham clinton a democratic nominee last year she is speaking that so you think about india when when under development is itself you know that or neglection on the part of the government itself pushes people to poverty even development agenda also parallelly pushing people to poverty there is that you know that armed forces violent you know why because you know in the name of you know special economic zones for the in the sub, in support of you know corporates when steps are taken like eight lane road project or sometimes you know that very two to you know the protests happen you know that the mercury uh, some you know that and the environmental pollution degradation when you don't take care of you know arm mark b the people but rather you speak in favor of corporate people or uh, you know the maybe you know that our you start honoring corporate mnc's that goes against The, the agriculture or native indigenous people that also becomes problem right so it is that way so the balkanization is a process you know that it is it's dividing or shattering a large landmass into pieces you know that that affects that goes against integration so you know we should not give way we 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 talk everything under the banner of internal security related issues government is very keen that way you know that uh, to arrest widening social inequality or regional imbalances by various schemes policies programs in what way they can appeal you know that even whether it is addressing a poverty hunger malnourishment or gender justice or even regional imbalances as i told you earlier or taking care of the welfare of you know that agricultural small you know that marginal uh, 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 agriculture or even you know that msme sector through mudra scheme the loans also you know that micro small medium enterprises you know that we are talking about their their small and medium enterprises you know it's not msme we are talking about you know that so the mudra schemes were even taking care of women through sukanya samriddhi yojana of course government is trying to address through various measures you might be aware you know that so uh, so that you know the india never falls uh, 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 into this process of balkanization or you know the shattering away the name of you know because of 
giving space to centrifugal tendencies you might be aware. So there we think of you know that even whether it is southern states or you know that the aggrieved states. On the one hand we are talking about you know that uh, 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 India's you know the heart of course we are talking about you know that our, our Bimar of states very weak here you might be aware you know that the heart is weak Chotanagpur plate region and not only that the, the western states and, and southern states whose parameters you know can be equated with the, the you know the development factors of you know the European countries we are talking about but they are not properly compensated the performance phase you know of course we are talking 15th finance commission you know under chairmanship of NK Singh we are talking about there should be there should be incentives proper compensation and also states should states autonomy should not be encroached upon by the very you know that central government as happening in the case of agriculture farm bills where Punjab state, you know, that coming forward and passing legislation that goes against the spirit of central legislation. Of course, it's, it's waiting for the approval of the president of India. You might be aware. So all these things, states should be given more power. You know that, you know, SR Bombay case. You know that not not central state relations. We are talking about interstate. Uh, 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 you know that council, national development council, role of governor. So once it goes, that leads to then problem. Of course, you know that that goes against federal principle. You might be aware. You know that. So of course, the recently abrogation of Article 370, restructuring of Jammu Kashmir, you might be aware that not only, you know, that of course, th there is a criticism that, you know, we went away, we did not honor the historical commitments, what we did uh, to Maharaja Hari Singh Treaty of Instrument of Accession 1948, we are talking about. But when parties change, the agenda change, their political manifesto. So the BJP is always in favor of, you know, one nation, one system. And also, you know, that the uniform civil code they are eyeing, you might be aware. So it is that way, you know, that they have got their own agenda, they will implement, you know, the, so that's, that's part of any political agenda, you might be aware, people voted to power, they honor in such a way, and of course, it's not free from criticism, you might be aware, so citizenship amendment bill or abrogation of 370, apart from having impact, you know, Lipule, Kalapani, the Nepal region, and also Nepal came up with map, got parliament's approval, we are talking about, states autonomy, that is a cry in the northeastern states, uh, northeastern insurgency, we are talking about, you might be aware, the Ayram Sharibila, you know that of course Tanja Manorama, human rights activist Tanja Manorama, he was raped and killed and nude protest by women in that particular region, you might be aware, and armed force special power acts in that particular region presence. So, you know that the government keep on, you know, that uh, 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 putting money, 32,000 crores, you know, the package every year, you might be aware, the northeastern region, you might be. So, autonomy is not simply, you know, that promise backed by economic measures, you know, uh, northeastern region, they don't have Panchayat Raj institution, you might be aware, you know, it is that way. So, disaster management, of course, you know that uh, uh, the very December in India is called as disaster December, <laughs> you know, disaster December, Whether when you talk about Delhi, uh, uh, disaster December and Chennai also flooding, you know, that uh, the, the northeastern monsoon, of course, Chennai flooding, Chennai becomes great bath, <laughs> Delhi becomes gas chamber, you might be aware, you know, even today's editorial. Uh, uh, according to one, you know, that research organization part of United States of America, the particulate matter 2.5, PM 2.5, particulate matter 2.5 presence in the air, you know, that ultimately that increases, you know, that the COVID cases, you know, the, to the tune of 8%. The 8% of case increase of COVID cases because of the particulate matters present in the air. Very recently, you know, that this uh, uh, the Trump having visited Ahmedabad, you know, you know, this guy, that guy is making, you know, that the US election statements, lack of gratitude, of course, government is very keen, but as an individual, I can make, I've got my own opinion, uh, that lack of gratitude, that guy is making, you know, that filthy air in India, that guy is making statement, given the fact, citing the northeastern region, how polluted, and you know very well, it's not only the state and central pollution control boards also, you know, the reinforcing the point of this this, you know, the Trump statement, as well, otherwise this research outcome. What is that? The very Punjab, the Uttar Pradesh, you know, the Haryana, where the staple, you know, that the burnt, you know, after the agriculture, the staple burnt ultimately that, that they add all these, you know, particulate matters ultimately. And also, you know, that even Supreme Court judgment banning, uh, uh, you know, the explosion of trackers during Diwali celebration, you might be aware. Every year, that's a phenomenon. Smog, smoke plus fog formation in Delhi. We are talking about all these things, you know, that, so, uh, uh, this in all, of course, you know, that the very disaster that can be, you know, that of course, linked with, you know, global warming, adding greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, uh, uh, the very disaster, of course, you know, that calamity, maybe, you know, that, or maybe cyclone induced, maybe tsunami, you know, that uh, the earthquake, 
uh, all these things you know that uh, we've got disaster management authority in india the part of you know that the, the 15th finance commission ladies and gentlemen 15th finance commission we are talking about you know that the, the fund meant for the disaster management for the state should be earmarked that's the cry we are talking about so you got disaster management authority also in place you know to assist when there is a crisis flood you know that situation whatever maybe the sudden you know the, the cyclone impact you know how they served in the kerala flooding you know that gentleman you know that uh, bending down allowing you know one lady to use his you know back as you know like bench you know how we have to appreciate salute those services on the part of our people you know that uh, the rapid forces you know that armed forces you know that crpf you know that part of the mechanism you know we have to salute them the human service whatever may be you know that the disaster uh, the scenarios you know that of course how government prepared with its r and d and 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 also you know that tsunami warning mechanisms you know that that demands proactiveness and fund allocation how prepared we are in terms of you know that infrastructure right so we are talking about ladies and gentlemen you know that it is according to you know the gunner middle the, the very state is called soft state complete deregulation complete you know that uh, 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 lack of spirit towards honoring the legislation you know that the asian drama book written by gunner middle where he introduced the concept called soft state even when uh, our one former prime minister of india of course you know that uh, 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 indira gandhi you know that uh, uh, shrimati indira gandhi uh, ji you know that she said india is no more soft state he went for nuclear testing 1974 you might be aware the pokhran right because we went for went for second time also during when shri atal bihari vajpayee was the prime minister of india 1998 uh, so first time buddha smiled second time buddha smiled again the first time 1974 you know that Uh, after that only the birth of very nuclear supply groups ntt came you know international ntt came into existence recently we became member in 2018 you might be aware so she said indira gandhi said you know showing china india is no more soft state don't think i am not you know my dad pandit nehru you know that uh, i i won't you know that you, you disappointed my dad i won't like that so the test 1974 the, the the message communicated to the political establishment by the scientific you know that establishment of the day was buddha smiles meaning the day was chosen buddha purnima for explosion might be aware so so sub state in the sense after colonization you know that you see don't see shape of you know legislation in such a way otherwise letter and spirit all legislations not properly followed even indian administration after india's independence the first four and a half decade we did not have a strong bureaucratic mechanism we did not work in favor of generating entrepreneurs otherwise the the, the The, the climate conditioning was not in favor of entrepreneurs the getting things done approach by corrupt means otherwise you know that rich gets richer poor gets that scenario even accused so all these things can be attributed india was a soft state in the beginning we are no more soft state of course you know that letter and spirit we we speak in favor of our sovereignty we address you know that we always you know that never tolerate the, the domestic you know that interests when it comes to international state system how we became balakot incident you might be aware we we brought back abhinandan uh, the wing commander abhinandan you know that uh, india is no more uh, 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 defensive state even the foreign policy no more strategic autonomy we talk about we talk about almost like preemptive strikes we did <laughs> the balakot eh? it is not first use policy second strike capability but it has become offensive policy that's why people started questioning is india strictly adhering to uh, no first use policy people started questioning that way. you might be aware So india is no more soft state you know that of course thanks to uh, asian asian drama book written by gunner middle the colonization in fact because of that nation governments not strictly adhering to uh, the policies and programs are complete violation uh, deranged state it's no more uh, soft state india is no more soft state you know that we are we are uh, uh, partly flexible partly rigid like constitution you might be aware uh, we know where to enforce our authority and where to gel with people and sometimes we never hesitate to you know uh, the condemn the international you know that institutions uh, uh, actions also you know that you might be knowing very well so the good governance what is good governance what is governance it is governing letter and spirit you know all the laws passed by legislature should be effectively executed that mechanism is called govern you rule in such a way through various organs of the government maybe theory of separation of power article 50 you talk about in that sense right it is not strict theory of separation of power in india you know very well it's not as liberal as uk and it's not as uh, rigid as you know that united states of america also we have got partly flexible partly rigid in sense you might be aware 
so the governance is letter and spirit you adhere to the needs of the people the will of the people is completely honored you pass the then strictly adhere to so you fulfill the needs of the people you take governance it's a ruling simply put it ruling but when you talk about good governance it talks about you know that uh, ultimately the, the, the parameters like you know that uh, responsibility government is feels responsible accountable to the administration and also practicing transparency that's why rti act huh? right, democratization of information 2005 act you might be aware uh, you know that the you make people aware of you know what those policies and programs you 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 rule you know that in a transparent manner instead of that we got implementation they are accountable so that whether executives or politicians they are all accountable and responsible even the very parliamentary democracy survives the union council of ministers collectively responsible to the lok sabha this is the heart and soul of the parliamentary democracy that responsibility that to collective responsibility accountably i you know that all those members of the parliament they, they are accountable to their own respective people they have to face elections every 5 years once even you know that the expenditures they have done in the name of running the government you know that the, you got you know that the post call cage comptroller and auditor general of india is going to audit and he will make statement and there he reveal you know all those scams you might be aware india became land of scams also you know the spectrum scam cold gate and ponzi scheme you know that I, i also watched that netflix you know that bad billionaires in india what is that the, the shara uh, uh, you know the subratwar wai sahara you might be aware all those things we are talking about scams you come to know so the good governance is all about letter and spirit you practice responsibility accountability transparency of administration then it is called good governance we move to the next level called ethical governance more than you know the good governance ethical governance where from equality to equity where you talk about corporate social responsibility here here also you can say corporate social responsibility you know scientific social responsibility you know that you 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 know that you entrepreneurs mnc's became rich by exploiting the resources you pay back something you were responsibility so because you will be held accountable otherwise so that way we are talking about so equity you know the ethical governance is all about it is something you know you feel obstacle in the name of law but without compromising law ethics is not about you know illegal activity when you feel limitation because of the law you go beyond that where you practice you know that uh, uh, your your value system you follow your heart you be compassionate you be sensitive to the ground reality you become pragmatic also it's not citing you know the the legal tangles you know that like rules ramanujan we don't want you to be rules ramanujan what are laws are man made when, when when any law without social sanction becomes obsolete out of date the law without social sanction is ineffective what is the use of having law when it is not serving the purpose it is a ritual so that comes you know that role of ethics you know that ethics is all about where you practice your morality your conscience you know, it is that way you know that you are compassionate you know that you feel you know that you feel you are, you become sensitive you understand the ground real you become pragmatic not not being part of the you know blame game not citing rules for doing something it is that way so we are more than that good governance we are emphasizing through second administrative reform com, com, you know that administration commission you might be aware so second arc where we are talking about ethical governance ladies and gentlemen all executives are supposed to practice through different different value system for different different peers you might be aware so this judicial activism you know that where you talk about the judiciary behaving like legislature it is judicial review all laws passed by you know that legislature whether they are standing standing the scrutiny of you know the courts the courts of the law we are talking about that so judicial review or judicial activism of course you know that it is also criticized the judicial overreach <laughs> of course we understand there should be independence on the part of judiciary you should be uh, free and fair justice then only deliver as you say election commission free and fair election to to have free and fair justice there should be independence of judiciary fantastic but when law passed by the legislature in such a way is not uh, uh, letter and spirit you know that uh, serving the purpose of the people or needs of the people sometimes it violates the basic structure of the constitution it won't stand the scrutiny of the courts of the law you know ultimately there comes judicial review ladies and gentlemen are, uh, in that sense they are talk the judiciary is called as judicial activism in more than independence of judiciary they are accused like you know judicial overreach they compromise supremacy of the constitution in india constitution is supreme 
constitution says people are supreme. Where people said we hereby adopt, enact and give ourselves to the constitution on this day, you know, the, uh, the 26th November, it is that way. Constitution says people are supreme. The people ultimately gave to the constitution. Now, constitution is supreme in India. Go by book. What law says strictly adhere to. But sometimes, you know, in ethical governance, what we say? Sometimes when you face obstacle limitation because of the law, go beyond, but never compromise law. Where you practice innovative, create your approach to be practical, to serve the needs, where you are given that freedom, but it is without compromising law. Of course, probably you address as a secretary to your minister, then it becomes law later. That is totally different scenario. Law evolves in such a way, so as to meet the pragmatism. Uh, the ground reality we are talking about. So, judicial activism is all about, of course, independence of judiciary or judicial review you call, but you know that, of course, through, you know, suomoto practice, you know, that they take up a case based on newspaper item, the public interest litigation, the judiciary, you know, that ultimately sometimes, you know, behaves like, you know, legislature. When, 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 when there is, you know, shortcomings or, 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 or the government, that are, government of the day fails to do, fails to address a particular issue, there comes, you know, judiciary, whether it is migrant laborers or reservation issue or even the, uh, uh, you know, uh, Prashant Bhushan, of course, you know, that uh, the very way with which, you know, that how the con contempt of Supreme Court case, all these things, you know, that there comes, of course, you know, that we are talking about it is ruling class ideology. Every political party, whatever may be the party, you know, that they have got their own mechanism. Uh, they will completely take over democratic institutions, you know, that, uh, 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 you know, that they will speak uh, uh, the language of ruling class, you might be aware. Uh, it, it may be the misuse or abuse, even enforcement directorate, no political party is free from that. That is called ruling class ideology. All institutions, uh, you know, they have to, under the disposal, that is happening. It is not like Pakistan, what it says. When they are in opposition, they will accuse army, they will accuse army. When they become ruling power, they, with the support of army, they will, they will go against opposition leaders. They will arrest all opposition leaders. And they'll be afraid of this, you know, that arrest, they'll be escaping, like what Nawaz Sharif in uh, the very London, you know, the second generation leaders also not spared there. So that's routine. So when you are in opposition, so that's why I say the role of the opposition is not to oppose everything introduced by the ruling party. It will be constructive opposition. Democracy, you've got crucial role. But, you know, they don't do mere politics. Go beyond that. Do developmental politics. It's not, you know, that uh, 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 for the limelight. Uh, sensationalism, you know, it, it is ultimately the media has completely eaten away the very domain of opposition party. I feel that way. Of course, the judiciary also should understand their limits. Got the idea? Na? We are talking about all those things. Judicial activism is that way. It is needed, but when it is excessiveness, ultimately the theory theory of separation of power. Of course, in India, partly flexible, partly rigid. You know, the judiciary itself is not sacrosanct, not free from corruption, and how the quid pro quo. And, uh, 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 you know, that when they went against, you know, that uh, the end jack, you might be aware, Supreme Court ruled against it, you know, National Judicial Appointment Commission, you know, you might be aware, you know, that it is that way, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about, you know, judicial activism should not be at the cost of supremacy of, you know, uh, 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 the constitution, supremacy of the parliament, right, it is that way, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about judicial activism should not be construed as judicial overreach also, they should know their limitation also parallelly. But that comes, you know, that you need check and balance mechanism. Urbanization is a process. Urbanization is a process. It is a mechanism that we are talking about. And uh, 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 it is a where process of becoming rural to urban, you know, that the rural people migrating to urban areas, the migration may be responsible for the process of urbanization. Otherwise, it, it may be extension of urbanization towards rural areas. You know, that it is also happening. We are talking about you know, that uh, the development, the, the spillover effect, you know, that we talk about along with, uh, you, you know, metropolitan cities and its expansion, you know, that you talk about the settlements in that light. It is a process of urbanization where more than 75 percent of the population engaged in non agricultural activities. We are talking about, ladies and gentlemen. And also, I am sorry, excuse me. So it is that way where the population density will be more and also civic communities accordingly. And, uh, and also, you know, that uh, uh, the literacy, all social indicators at the top level. And also, no doubt, the urban local body is struggling for meeting the civic communities we are talking about. And also, the presence of the urban poverty, urban ghetto. It is a process. You know, as Louis Wirth said, urbanization is a process. Urbanism is a way of life. You see the people's style of life, anonymity. 
you know, that uh, the, the, the service sector domination, manufacturing sector domination, not agriculture sector domination, you might be aware, it is that way. And uh, the presence of, you know, that the, the uh, all, all, you know, that the heads, heads of various corporate MNCs, otherwise, you know, that uh, 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 the political apparatus, the present secretary and various ministries, even legislature to be part of it. And headquarters of, you know, all those, you know, the uh, different portfolios you talk about and even judiciary mechanisms, that is what urbanization, a process of urban, you know, that 75 percent of non-agricultural activity and population size will be more and also population density will be more and also the value system, individualism, privacy, anonymity and uh, individual achievement centric and also the tendency of westernization and also modernization more at play here we talk about and also the presence of urban poverty, get to and also uh, parallelly the crime rate talk about uh, uh, more than you know that uh, rural areas you know that and white collar crime also parallelly and also uh, you know it is that way ladies and gentlemen we are talking about and issues also parallelly there comes the effective you know that law and order mechanism you know that in place and of course you know that the sanitation measure civic amenities the drinking water everything you know the urban local bodies loaded with that you might be aware it is it's a process ladies and gentlemen and of course, you know that in India, we are talking about the food security given the fact global hunger index where we are less than, you know, that uh, in, in terms of ranking the Bangladesh, that the crime, not only that, and you know that given the fact, you know, the fact uh, uh, starving people and, and also the COVID crisis situation worsening. But anyway, thanks to Mandrega, to some extent, it could give support and thanks to National Food Security Act. But given the fact when agriculture faces lots lot of problem, in future it may become a difficult, you know, the task to feed our people under National Food Security Act. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are talking about and also international attempt to go against our Indian subsidy mechanism. I mean, agriculture is not for profit, you know, that and also the various problems faced by agriculture in spite of the various, you know, that incentive, uh, uh, the schemes, mechanisms announced by then and there, even the recent controversial farm bill between you know center versus states and, and associated protests you know that all these things ultimately questioning thanks to green revolution india attained self sufficiency in food grains especially over few crops the wheat it's otherwise called brown revolution wheat and paddy fantastic what about other crops it also some packets could benefit out of green revolution it created regional imbalances also rich gets richer poor gets poorer what is green revolution well irrigated areas with he with, with you know heavy application of fertilizers, high yielding you know that variety seeds usage. This is all the points we are talking about. It talks about affordability. Rich gets richer, poor gets poorer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking this way. So food security, how secure we are. We have got self-sufficiency, but the point is the storage facilities, the, the poor infrastructure, the wastage of foods on the one hand, and also the procure mechanism, you know, that uh, the, uh, fair price, uh, you know, that we are talking about FRP, MRP, you know, MSP, the minimum support price, you know, that uh, the agriculture farmers, you know, that expressing anguish over that in spite of that. And also APMC, agriculture, you know, that producing marketing committees and associated controversy now between central on the one hand states on the other. And also, you know, that logistics and hoarding mechanism and, you know, that the vagaries of monsoon, everything we are talking about. So, Shantakumar committee recommendations can be implemented letter and spirit we are talking about so that India attains, you know, the food security uh, on the one side, uh, you know, that attains self-sufficiency on the other side, PDS failure, public distribution system failure. It should be effectively dealt with, you know, that it is that way, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about, I mean, even the very Mandrega itself, we talk about the, the 25,000 rupees not reaching the people under direct benefit transfer. Hello, I'm, I'm, it's a matter of intimation to all of our, uh, uh, the future leaders, take care of it, you know, that. Ladies and gentlemen, only 17,000. I personally, you know, that met people in the field. They are saying, sir, they said 25, they gave only 17. If I question, I won't be getting job. <laughs> I don't want, you know, in, in spite of that direct benefit transfer. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about, you know, that people find always loopholes. You know, they, they are highly specialized. Uh, you know, where there is will, there is a way. They, they take it in the wrong way uh, for wrong implementation. Of course, we are talking about the food security mechanism you know that in what way we are going to address this you know people free from hunger and poverty especially people below poverty line you know that that's why we talk about national food security act you know that, that to feed the people free from subsidy issues of you know wto we are talking about energy security this is you know that meeting energy standards you know the tell me your eb bill i'll tell you your economic status tell me the country's energy availability i'll tell country's economic development 
because the energy that moves the nation. You might be aware, ninety percent of the resource, you know, the hydrocarbon, of course, in India, and which adds more, you know, that carbon in the atmosphere. The fuel, of course, you might be aware, you know, that we, you know, it is also exhausting fossil fuel. You have to understand, India pays huge bill because of the import of this oil. In spite of the thing, international crude oil prices came down to thirty, you know, that dollars per barrel. The government is pa not passing that, you know. Uh, 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 to the you know the, the very people because you know that they they have they are repaying all those you know outstanding loans you might be aware it's not passed to the cus customers consumers especially and also different different you know that the, the state you know policy mechanisms also you see the differential rating of petrol fuel prices you might be aware and whatever maybe so you know that where where the coal you know you are talking about you know 60 percent of the coal thermal energy and 25 percent of you know the hydro hydroelectric project less than 5 percent of you know that nuclear energy production and you know that the renewable energy resources when you talk about nuclear that the thermal solar they can be explored more recently thanks to you know that uh, uh, prime minister modi ji you know the us administration established in madhya pradesh the reva you know that 750 megawatts you know that uh, the, the solar project you know that of course our, our, our uh, we are blessed our position in the as one of the tropical nations you know that uh, you know that the heat of course you know that the apparent movement of the sun out of which we can uh, get benefit the solar power you know that which is uh, eco friendly you know that not adding carbon in the atmosphere you might be aware we have to explore but hydro projects you might be aware you know that india is well known for the water uh, river water sharing related disputes the tribunals associated law and order failure you might be aware so the energy security we have to take care that's why the indo us civilian nuclear cooperation agreement 123 agreement with us we started with so many countries we have signed Sri Lanka recently signed with India, you might be aware, to address our growing energy needs. You understand? Peaceful use of nuclear energy. We are talking about, of course, liability bill and we have to take care, parallel, you know, that any nuclear accident, safeguard mechanisms through IAEA, we are working towards. So, energy security to, to address the developmental agenda, the growing energy needs, because you know that without energy support, you, you cannot work towards, you know, that uh, 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 R, you know, the so called. Uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, manufacturing sectors you know that energy needs we are talking about yes ladies and gentlemen and even you know that uh, uh, how when you take in you know, a photograph uh, especially in the night time you know over uh, the planet you know that the more illumination shows more development might be aware you know you just see you know that a lot of uh, uh, it's not i'm not talking about you know the the photos uh, taken over the planet of the earth on diwali days hello <laughs> of course that also other kind of you know prosperity that's totally different scenario but more illumination on the night, especially the city regions, rural regions may not be. The more illumination, more prosperity, more economic development. It is that way, not only at your domestic scenario, national scenario. Sustainable development, that the development that 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 becomes sustainable, that, that should be long lasting, that should not be at the cost of future generations. But you can speak this in terms of environmental angle. You should not compromise, you know, that uh, the planet of the earth. Because you know. Uh, all your consumer durables, whether it is, you know, uh, AC or refrigerator, whatever, you know, even automobiles, what you are talking about, all, you know, the adding, you know, the, the gases, even the paddy fields accused, the methane, we are talking about hydrocarbons, methanes, you know, that they add more carbon in the atmosphere, ultimately, you know, contributing to global warming, that then ultimately earth becomes unlivable, you might be aware. So, so you have to take care, you have to go for recycling process. And, uh, you know, of course, the United Nations Environment Programme, you know, the, the, the Kyoto Protocol, Paris Climatic Agreement, we have to strictly adhere to, you know, the collective and differentiated responsibilities, you know, you might be aware. So, the, the, you, you should not compromise environmental standards in the name of economic development. And also, in the name of economic development, you that should not go against a section of population, whether they are, uh, 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 maybe the rural population. That's why you know that without, without getting the approval of the Grama Sabha, no uh, project can enter into that village. Panchayat Extension Services Act 243, you know, you know, Article 243 might be aware. It's that way. Even Scheduled Cast, Scheduled Tribes, you know, Forest Dwellers Act we are talking about. So, the, the, the section of the population, you know, the, the development should not be at the cost of the section of the population, native, indigenous, forest population or downtrodden people. You know, it is that way. Even the pollution, in the name of economic development, the land pollution, the air pollution, you know, what you think the scenario, you know, that you know, when the breathing trouble, you know, it's not, I'm not talking about the racism of George Floyd. You know, in India also, then you will say, as you know, the Trump said, I can't breathe in India. <laughs> but this is not for racism reason, but maybe, you know, that the filthy air, maybe air pollution. 
yes so central government you got you know that all those you know that uh, mechanism right helping mechanism you know it should be you know that uh, conditioned in such a way once you stop you know that any any particular paddy paddy field or maybe you know the responsible for burning the stubble should not should not be allowed to you know that do agriculture for the next three to stringent measures should go so that you know they are afraid it's that way you know we are talking about so you know what happens right so this way it's not compromising environmental standards it should not go against a section of population so growth for all it is it should be inclusive growth the growth that's that's not leaving out even a section of population the growth should not be at the cost of future generation who gave you authority to destroy the planet of the earth in your lifetime what what you are going to hand over you know that the way with which you have been handed over the planet of the earth the same way you have to hand over the planet of the earth to the future generation the growth should not be at the cost of future generation the growth should not be the growth of few also the growth is multi dimensional concept you know that the growth you know the, there should not be widening inequality you know, that from mere economic terms to and come it in social terms in terms of people's accessibility towards you know that health infrastructure you know that uh, educational you know the sector it is that way you know we are talking about so but that you have to work towards welfare nation notion social justice mechanism and arresting you know that the widening social inequality all around and working towards gender, gender justice and lgbd and you know that the, uh, uh, the the future of the nation the young population the demographic different should be you know that properly enabled if you don't invest in young population they become liable in the future you have to understand you know it is that way so so you have to take care of the future generation child is the father of the nation so it's that way we are talking about you know we are talking you know it is that way so we talk about sustainable national development development that becomes sustainable so all these you know foundational concepts you know in the name of you know vocabulary i think you know i discuss you know the if you know that enough concepts ladies and gentlemen now you can understand the biased media real threat to indian democracy you know what is media is a threat to indian the biased media news is no more news it's called views it's called bias it's called opinion it so biased media just now we spoke fake news paid news pen is mightier than pen is mightier than sword we are talking about but the using the pen you get cover from politician how your writing is going to be even when there is you know press meet the way with which you know that the media people questioning it shows the standard except few questions they really worry you know that it is that way you know that if you are not passionate it's it, it it's for mere money if you do that what the outcome will be ladies and gentlemen if you are not passionate please don't do injustice to your profession whatever may be the profession even the teaching profession i am saying if you are passionate you do teaching job otherwise please don't spoil the future generation ladies and gentlemen whoever may be if you are not passionate don't do it uh, it is that way whatever may be the profession if you are if you are not passionate just for the sake of money if you do you are spoiling uh, uh, you know that ultimately the future generation your responsibility you are diversifying that's very important so the biased media and its impact you know that their connivance you know that the nexus with politicians bureaucrats of course it is a threat to indian democracy you compromise the policies you know that uh, where, uh, where when you want to say no you say yes it is that way we are talking about you got a lot of you know that so the the, the prachar bharati chairman press council of india chairman once margandey got you you know how when when press is not you know the taking you know that uh, strictly adhering to you know that uh, uh, its own you know the principles right? they'll be uh, 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 the license will be you know that ultimately taken back that is the threat and he conducted uh, uh, the very you know that the meeting in his home itself you know that for every 3 months once you know he met people you might be aware in what way uh, uh, the, the the press council of you know that india and and as well as you know the media can work together so as to increase the effective role of the you know the media so that you know that that makes the democracy letter and spirit highly successful yes it is almost biased media accusation and in indian democracy you know that what is biased media you should know what is indian democracy you know indian democracy is all about ruled by people in indian democracy you know that it is governed by the constitution the unity and diversity of course tolerance core principle organs of the government you might be how uh, through elections you know through uh, 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 the adult franchise you might be aware you know that through strong opposition through you know the the, the 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 effective role given to the media that's what indian democracy is all about we are talking about but when the very media itself biased when you say you can say the media in terms of you know uh, uh, variety the instrument of communication the radio and uh, you know of course you know that fm we have got the television and also you know that the celluloid world the print media 
and also social media you can incorporate nothing wrong in that so the, it's a media it's a broad term you you've got multi dimensional aspect so when it is biased definitely it is a threat how it is biased how do you justify the politicization of media corrupt media you know that uh, 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 ideological extremism on the part of media linguistic shamanism on the part of the media the centrifugal tendency on the part of the media the male chauvinistic patriarchal attitude on the part of the media yes ladies and gentlemen we can we can speak that way and and compromising the value system on the part of the society compromising the standards principles on the part of the media and corrupt media beyond that we are talking about you know everything so it is it is it's a threat even the you know the exit poll you know it's a fortunately thing you know that the supreme court judgment you know they can't release uh, before the conclusion of the elections you know that it will influence the voting behavior of the masses we are talking about you know that's why the, the views the opinion everything what we are talking about in india if you want to understand the truth in spite of that you are confused you have to watch three to four channel news to understand the real truth when you question the government's real intention <laughs> it is that way ladies and gentlemen we are talking about you know that so you know i've got articles for that and farming has lost its ability to be a source of subsistence for majority of the farmers in india i think you know i need of you know no need of going for you please go through all the title because i explain all the core concept part of this topic now now you can understand i think i need not because how to you know that approach sc the, the first video you know that uh, how to 200 plus in sc the very video you watch i've suggested how to you know the generate ideas uh, you know the, the body structure of the sc content how to you know generate ideas various tools i supplied you just employ because you understood the, the, the keywords now you can understand the topic i think i no need of uh, spending you know that much time on this everything you can understand all these topics you know you can apply now i took you know the pain in explaining those keywords now you can understand the topics you can start generating for that please watch my first video to understand how to generate ideas how to have structure of they say because you got content and politics without ethics you know that of course one of the seven sins it's a disaster judicial vip cult is a bane non plan expenditure huh? minimum government maximum governance should be there that way need for transparency in public rta act democratization of information you know it is only 2005 this act came see this question is 1990 old questions also i took you know that i want you to apply in this topic because you know wither away withering indian democracy because letter and spirit because given you know that ultimately caste and polity identity politics and the communalism of course you talk about and also linguistic shamanism and also you know the freebie politics <laughs> yeah it is that way you know that yeah, the challenges you talk about and also rigging elections and the electoral expenses and also you know the violation of model code of conduct and the role of election commission sometimes you know that they listen to political masters you know what happened to chidambaram in sivaganga constituency you might be aware i say chidambaram he was once my role model and of course later he changed you know ex union minister this is my personal opinion but you know the controversy let us you know it's not directly attacking any individual uh, the very issue you might be aware of course you might be it is that way so uh, with our indian democracy you know what are all the challenges you talk about in terms of election in terms of people in terms of governance in terms of politicians in terms of media in terms of strong opposition in terms of fundamental rights of the freedom this democracy is ruled by people what are all the issues challenging the people in in the name of rule in the name of governance you are going to bring right is it withering away indian democracy is withering away is that way you know that so politics bureaucracy and business of course you know very well uh, the very corporate governance you know that the fatal triangle we are talking about of course how far has democracy in india delivered the goods it is evaluating in 2003 itself you know where you have to bring all those you know planning the green revolution you know that and all, all our achievements cutting across you know three aspects of economy the agriculture very uh, uh, manufacturing sector service sector even you talk in terms of as an individual as a group social groups trade unions pressure groups and of course you know that uh, uh, how minorities benefited how women how children you know that uh, how the diversified population on the part of you know the people benefited in building institutions okay you know you talk about it, in building infrastructure especially you know how r and d you know that I, in terms of you know uh, uh, the culture the sports achievements even the culture uh, how we engage you know that uh, rest of the world the foreign policy so that even various you know that rbi the financial front everything everything 
as a democracy how india delivered the goods you know that it is evaluating india's performance it is 2003 but you know that uh, uh, you know that after liberalization definitely you know that you might be this is all the past why not the same question you know that uh, repeated this year also you know that let's be open minded so where you have to bring under upa rule or nda rule or bjp rule different different rules uh, some some leaders you know that some policies you know that we have we brought in then and there like green revolution you know that maybe new economic policy economic reforms generation 1 2 3 maybe more the administration demonetization gst and reform to perform transform even recently atmanirbhar so everything can be brought in you know what we have not learnt during the 50 years of independence ladies and gentlemen so it is it is a fantastic thing you can say what we have not learnt you know that so we we learnt progress is the only way purpose and direction is the way that we have not learnt the purpose and direction you know that uh, respecting the value system standards principle the, the, the society you know i'm i'm going to cite one quote also for this purpose free from communalism casteism religious fundamentalism majoritarianism forced religious conversion and uh, free from you know that uh, uh, corporate driven politics free from widening inequality free from you know the corruption of all round and uh, 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 corruption in kind the freedom from gender justice and freedom from you know the transgender justice now we are talking about of course recent phenomenon and, uh, 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 and 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 minorities should not feel insecure and uh, you know they should not live in fears you know that like even uh, uh, you know that uh, the shine bog you know the case we are talking about citizenship amendment bill whatever maybe and also various things we have done how economic reforms benefited out of the people you know that on the one side you know that though you are talking about not learned that the topic itself negativity after that you have to conclude with positivism what are all the the positivity we attain 2008 we were heading towards double digit gdp global recession we came down and covid crisis further worsening the scenario but in spite of that india a responsible nation with advanced nuclear technology you might be aware you know that it, it is that way the, 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 the young uh, india is the youngest country in the aging world one sixth of the humanity uh, the, the the third largest you know uh, economy in terms of purchasing power the, the fifth largest economy you know that we talk about you know, gdp everything you know you know all those uh, the trillion a uh, 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 5 trillion dollar economy by 2024 you know how it is going to be realistic we, we are working towards all those stuff you know it is that way your vision how india as a vishwa guru super power nation it is 20 you know that uh, uh, 2001 why why it is not at least by 2025 why it is not at least 2030 india as a super power hmm? vishwa guru why not so in the, in the indian context you know that both human intelligence technical intelligence are crucial combating you know the terrorism you might be aware you know that the use of technology and human intelligence enforcement all those cbi ra you are talking about you know that our, our sharpness you know that it is that way to be alert we talk about combating terrorism it is you know the terrorism in india is only because of religious fundamentalism and it's not only islam accused for this even the state of tripura you got christianity based Uh, you know the terrorist organization for your kind information is autonomy the best answer to combat balkanization state autonomy give more power more freedom so that they don't go away you know that uh, where the mind is without fear the head is held high freedom people freedom loving you know you, you feel empowered when you feel freedom you know that you, you, you the fullest realization of your potential happens for and you will the same way for state also whatever may be the you know that administrative body we are talking about it is that way i think you know you can apply ladies and gentlemen i think all things you know that you know very well no need of you have to apply the very you know the thing concept you learnt out of me i think it is right time for me to take you to you know the, the very conclusions you know that some sample so it's about media you know that in 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 india it's governments you know meanwhile let me take you to the very good i can excuse me very article also i was talking of course you know yes so uh very hindu especially this article yeah i want you to see this article ladies and gentlemen that way yeah 
in this article the media and issues of responsibility this article came in 2011 the, the first question what we were talking right so the Morgan day gadget you might be you know fantastic article i believe see that's what i'm saying the, the hindu articles the lead articles and also you know editorial based articles even indian express articles i want you to go so this is with fantastic you know that uh, uh, i want i want to show this for that particular sca topic you got if you are voracious read up all those articles on the part of editorials as well as lead articles you will you will be fantastic you know the person to deliver to join you know to 200 plus clubs in sc that's what i can say you know that i i definitely you know that so it is it is a speech delivered but it has been written that i i want to show this it is no article you know this single article itself sufficient for that particular yes see ladies and gentlemen i am talking about i think i think if you want that, that will let me show you some more article also parallel ah yes in the economic times you know that another article came for a democracy india's media is is not in a happy state <laughs> see the media people na see how they are giving title eh? they don't want uh, you know the, the blame india's media is not in a happy state at all so they are in the, you, you don't cherish Indian media, that's the meaning. So, the thing is, you know, of course, it is a biased media, fake media, corrupt media, all those, they can't say, nah, they are all, they themselves, economic times media people. For a democracy, India's media is not happy. See, this is one by, you know, that one ex-minister, Melin Diora. Just wait, it is that way, you know, he is, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I've, I've copied actually, you know, that introduction, good introduction, good conclusion. Even the Morgan Day get you, you know, that the Justice Morgan Day get you article also I've taken. You know that this you know that let me take you to this very conclusion india its governments its media as well as its people most certainly need to introspect on the indian governments and indeed some state governments the, the, the strange old over the media and the fear it inspires in journalists <laughs> it, it is you know that speaking huh? <laughs> uh, okay so the better to conduct this exercise now than before freedom of the press is completely compromised you know that so it is the, the role of government you know that it is that it is that tone where Morgan you could choose article appealing to the very media community you know fraternity in what we you know that we can work together so that you know media moves to the next level and serves letter and spirit the purpose of the democracy that's different note so i want you to go through different different articles from different different media house so that you understand the spirit ladies and gentlemen i think you know that it is the right time let me take you so it is that way how conclusion should be you know that it is it is that you know that the very conclusion i read you know from that particular million euro article ladies and gentlemen i think you know that it is the right time let me take you to the spirit faster 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 yes so you have seen the very you know that what is that uh, uh, the, the you know the, the conclusion what is that yeah the conclusion first conclusion let me take you to the second conclusion it's about time for mainstream media. It's, it's, India is passing through a transitional period in history. I think, you know, yeah. It is about time for the mainstream media to really think about how to sell objective reporting. See, reporting should be objective, free from bias. See, that goes with topic, biased media. See the conclusion. You, you recommend a solution. You be part of the solution. Solution. That's what conclusion is all about. It, it should be thought provoking also parallel. You know, where uh, uh, the Melin Dioros article, you know, that is all about the responsibility of the government. So that media, uh, 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 before you know that the media perishes 100%. Like, so India, it, it's about time for mainstream media to really think about how to sell objective reporting. Objectivity means free from bias. You don't take sides. That is, if they are vested in the in the progression of the country, you have to you know that progression of the progression of the country, not progress of few, you know, journalists, few media house, you know, that corrupt media I'm talking about, not like that. So, you should understand, for that you should understand the purpose and direction. We live in times where bad news sells, huh? because, you know, good news never spreads. Good news will not spread faster, but bad news, so that, <laughs> bad news, you know, that reaches very fast and you might be aware. So, bad news sells, people are, you know, gossip mongering, huh? is it so, what happened, is it really? So the very keen eh, gossiping, whether it is national level, international level. So that sells faster, sensationalism, excitement. But it's only the media and funders or sponsors of these media platforms that can completely change this. So there comes a responsibility on the part of media and sponsors of the media. 
they should be realized you know what sort of that you would have watched movie guru how uh, a journalist role you know that vidun chakrabarti role actually you know how he was very adamant not compromising uh, the value system of the media so that is that's very rare that's about goyamka dean express group you know that you might be aware that you would have watched that movie guru maritnam's movie how media person should be it is that way and uh, then one another movie also you would have watched you know that that abhishek bachchan pa amita bachchan pa how the media you know that sensationalism they create you know with more power comes more responsibility media has got more power but you got responsibility also that's a message the pa movie you know that the very amol uh, one mp role you might be aware you would have watched why i am connecting because you know the movie it's very easy for you to connect the media responsibility so stop the incorrect reporting ban fake news nick it not okay to insult leaders character assassination without objective cause is not directly attacking individual but every right to that's what media kar people you know the, the uh, great people will discuss ideas ordinary people or media kar people will discuss about people so it's not you know the talking about people don't attack you know don't hate human being there is a human being you know that don't don't lose faith in the humanity it's a ocean because even you know, a drop of water uh, 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 in the ocean became dirty you should not lose faith in your humanity humanity is ocean don't hate human beings either you know that uh, criticize ideas you know an idea there should be ideological fight not not destroying individuals so let's all i you know i am not criticizing any single individual i respect all individuals of course you know that let's respect the ideological differences also but when it is traveling in immoral path that's totally different scenario and they have to face the consequences it's that way so stop the incorrect reporting ban fake news make it you know that not okay to insult leaders you know not okay it's not okay not okay to insult or character assassination without objective cause it is not attacking and they should be brought to the book with circumstantial or sufficient you know that evidence the, the misinformation in creating is creating alienation because you know that all this misinformation is what happened right uh, the people feel alienated in their own country and you know that alienation ignorance and misinformed extremism among the people are misled they are deceived throughout the life they will think you know that this guy is bad one generation is spoiled because so you got effective tool called media it's your powerful and you got responsibility also to to take the nation forward to take the next generation forward because you got a purpose you got a direction and for that you know you have to give objective you know that reporting that that demands not not fake news not paid news so that you know it has got its own consequences it won't be long before indian democracy completely falls apart if you do all these things over that's that is so this conclusion i appreciate and you know this is all the conclusions i got to some extent inspired it may not i don't know it's up to you but what are all the things inspiring you you know the impressing you you take you from there you go you and your own natural style let it be yours unique potential So India is passing through a transitional period in its history from feudal agricultural society to modern industrial society. Of course, we already jumped into service sector. You know, 55 to 60% of GDP because of service sector. You might be aware. So we are moving. That's why you know Jairam Ramesh once said, the ex-union minister, uh, uh, honourable ex uh, uh, Jairam Ramesh, he said, India's economy has got structural crisis. We straight away jumped into service sector without getting completion. In you know that manufacturing economy but that's a different story in china they they got very strong manufacturing sector. you know that we are we are uh, we are working towards you know that you know we made in india campaign we are talking about of course swachh bharat abhiyan you might be aware you know that uh, uh, that's for cleaning you know everything all round aspects from from inside out not outside in even atmanirbhar in that way so uh, make in india campaign it's not made in india make in india campaign this is very painful And, uh, and agonizing piece. The transition is always painful. The media must help society in going through this transitional period as quickly as possible by objective reporting of news and by reducing the pain involved, not misinforming or deceiving people. But it is not excitement, sensationalism, or your selling of news. This can be done. Not do. This can be done by attacking feudal ideas. You know that that you have to understand the change in value system. the name of you know that uh, maybe westernization or modernization uh, you know because you have to be part of the 21st century you have to provide solution to the 21st century don't live with 18th century ideas this demands your next avatar 2.0 so 
So this transition period is very crucial for the people. So that comes important role, significant role on the part of the media. Use your tool, a powerful tool, because you've got responsibility. Don't deceive people with objective reporting of news. You know that you instill responsibility on the part of the people also. And, and you instill hope in them. And, and, and what is that, you know, that a role in contributing for the nation building process to make India a superpower by at least 2030? That way, that way. Make them participate because that's what, you know, that the building materials are the same. You can build bridge to connect people. You can build wall also. Wall separates people. Bridge connects people. Be a bridge. Media, be a bridge. Don't incite, you know, that uh, the communal violence, you know, that are, are, are uh, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, responsible for conflict in a particular way. Or hate speech, whatever may be, by paid news or fake news, whatever may be. Ladies and gentlemen, you got responsibility, the media people I'm talking about. For example, casteism, communalism and promoting uh, uh, modern scientific ideas. You know, that you go against the, the communalism, casteism and you promote modern scientific ideas, rationalization, scientific temperament and also the, the, the fraternity. Uh, you know that uh, even there is a saying in Tamil, Matran Malligiyum Manakum. Even somebody else's gardens, roses also will have fragrance. So there can be, for every thesis, there can be antithesis, but you respect others' opinion also. But you have to solve all those issues by negotiation, you know, the discussions uh, in a democratic way. It's not by rejection. In democracy, rejection leads to isolation. So it is inclusive governance, inclusive, you know, that a growth. You know that you you take you, you nobody is left in the growth process. You know that it is that way. So there comes you know effective role uh, played by media in terms of objective reporting of news. You know that it is that way. It is that you know we are talking about and also some of the introductions. You know that so there comes another introduction, especially you know this talks about context. When you talk about introduction, it should be setting tone, promising. It should arouse curiosity. So this gentleman actually took the you know that the international NGO. You know it's called Reporters Without Borders. They have released one annual World Press Freedom Index report. See, one of the indices. It is based on that, you know, see, they, they bring context from there. They talk about role of media in India. It is that way. So, the reporters without borders. You know, there are doctors without borders, you might be aware. Same way, reporters without borders. Released its annual World Press Freedom Index. The index ranks 180 countries in the world, you might be aware, based on amalgamation of Amalgamation of you know that the very qualitative and quantitative analysis that examines pluralism. It is not monoism, the single culture in India, multiple culture, unity and diversity, tolerance. You might be aware of everything we are talking about. And, and, and media independence, various parameters where media independence is one of the parameters. You know that though World Press Freedom Index, whether you respect pluralism or media independence or media environment, you know that how the media environment, how they are getting you know support sponsorship, whatever may be. Otherwise, the self-censorship, you know, that how the government is playing, you know, through its Prachar Bharati, whatever may be, Press Council of India, you know, that in what way it goes against media, you know, that otherwise, you know, that any cultural policeman attitude, big brother attitude on the part of, part of government, like police state, you know, that is it so? Like that how media, you know, that is tackling that. So, legislative framework in what way and transparency of administration, that how you know, the all policies, you know, evolving, promotion, implementation, everything. The quality of infrastructure for news production, you know, it is a sponsorship, funding, also, you know, the infrastructure availability and violence against journalists. You know, that very recently, the Middle East journalist, how, you know, that, uh, uh, how, you know, he has been executed, how the, the, the global media came against, you might be aware. And uh, the various human rights activists in different parts of the world. I heard one past, Ken Saroviva. You know that a human rights activist, and even Tanja Manorama in India, you know that uh, she was shot dead, and and a human rights violation you can say, and how the Jammu Kashmir, you know that of course you know that the very uh, the China human rights violation, the the war uh, 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 crime, the very you know that the Sri Lanka we are talking about, you know that so all these things we can how the violation of human rights we are talking about, so especially when it is against journalists, how journalists were killed during you know that LTTE. Decimation also in Sri Lanka and also how media people are, you know, the treated, you know, that uh, the, the privilege motion passed by Karnataka recently, you know, that uh, it is that way, you know, all these things we are talking about, it is that way. So, they use all those. So, India ranked 138, down two points from, you know, this is based on 2016 report we are talking about. So, out of 160, 138. So, it is the context. From that context, they introduced. The Press Council of India has since rejected the reporters without borders ranking because you know that 
it is not only here even global hunger index also we say the, the international indices they practice you know the variety of tools for weighting mechanisms that is not true sometimes it is also not free from you know the controversies how come we can rely on those indices it may be with malafide intention maybe uh, under the influence of you know that some developed countries who do not want to see our economic development maybe so we also doubt all these international decisions because you know the, the parameters you know that becomes a question mark and citing lack of clarity so it is in, in the methodology employed with the index having india performing worse than the countries like afghanistan palestine i know no you can't you can't rely on this you know that it is unbelievable you know that you know that uh, even nepal hello <laughs> kosovo mali it is it, it talks about you know the motive on behalf of this indices you know this is what uh, uh, Justice Margandeya got you questioning, you know, that so in his article you might be aware. The, the incredulous, you know, the uh, incredulous means, you know, able to believe, you know, that it is that way of the council is not only understandable, you know, understandable, you know, but also shared by most of us, even those, the, the, the critical of Indian mainstream media, you know, that, that, that ultimately, you know, that it may be reporting India's standard that way, but, you know, we question that indices, um, it may not be. Uh, 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 as worse as those nations you know listed you know that india is not such a least you know that uh, uh, country to occupy that position this question so you are you're trying to you know that uh, begin you know that you, you set the context and also you know that you you, you promote one idea no 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 it is effective media of course the topic you can choose accordingly you know indian media you know active media it is it is the effective role played by indian media in strengthening indian democracy of course when that is a scenario you know that you can cite that way also you know that when you counter the accusation that bias media also you can take that introduction so it is that way ladies and gentlemen so the majority of the people in multiple countries distrust the media you know that you think about china it's it's state controlled news the xinhua news what you're talking about state controlled news we don't know what's happening there no transparency that's why we we question the chinese so called development also uh, on the one side, people are starving, environmental degradation, corruption. On the other side, they are talking about, you know, that uh, giant economy. They, they are ready to support uh, all other countries in the world by its own, you know, Belt Road Initiative, infrastructure, uh, the connectivity to make other nations detract. We question because no transparency and also all around human rights violation, how pro-democratic movements are suppressed. What happened in Hong Kong? What's happening in Taiwan? You might be aware. And how they behave in South China Sea, bullying. It is that way, you know that. So, so majority of the people in multiple countries, you know, what happens, right? Distrust media, and they are justified in doing so. In India, especially, the media is biased. See, for the topic what we discussed, the essay topic, this is apt, apt introduction on multiple counts, not just in political leanings, but going as far as to partially report or misreport begins money. This talks about the, the news reporting lacks objectivity. Paid news, fake news you know otherwise colored news politicization of news what is that way we are talking about as a result false narrative is published and, and consumed by millions you know you don't know what is the truth you are living by you know that the false information you believe and you die with that the, the whole generation will think you know think a particular nation as enemy nation because history is nothing but history of few individuals when the, those in, responsible individuals through in the support of media when they mislead the whole nation you think about it it's over over two to three generations you know that will think you know that will treat one nation as enemy nation will treat one particular section of a section of population as enemy population that is quite dangerous quite dangerous no it is that way so false narrative is published and consumed by millions and and this seriously threatens indian democracy democracy ruled by people not by ruled by a, a particular section of people ruled by all people Partial reporting and misinformation, you know, was evident with the coverage of, you know, that recent Delhi Riyals, you know, that, uh, you know, that you ultimately talk about the incident. You, it's a good introduction. Ultimately, you cite with, you know, that the context, context comes here. So, it is that way, you know, that ladies and gentlemen, and also, you know, that I think you understand, you know, we are running short of time. I, I think I leave here. What is the point? And it is, it's right time for me, you know, that to take you to the best course, of course, you know, when you are talking about media, you have to talk about freedom free media free and fair media objectivity on the part of reporting of news the media free from corruption media free from political leanings and media from fake news media from paid news because pen is mightier than 
more power comes, more responsibility. Democracy, free media has got effective, significant role. It might be ever. So it is, it, it is you know, a Nobel laureate who wrote, you know, that the Gija, Gitanjali for literature, it might be ever. None other than our Rabindranath Tagore is an up person to, you know, that, uh, to, to quote first. Where the mind is without fear, fear, and, and the head is held high, where the knowledge is man. We don't want controlled media, controlled news, paid news, fake news, false narrative, excitement, sensationalism, misinforming people, misleading people. Because media has got purpose and direction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is appropriate, fantastic, you know, that you can use. I am not going to elaborate given shortage of time, you know, well. I think it is right time, let me take into account, you know, that our people's president, Dr. Abdul Kalam. For success of any mission, it is necessary to have creative leadership. The role of media can play this effectively. Creative to guide the government, to guide the judiciary. The creative leadership is vital for government, for non governmental organization, NGO, civil society, as well as industries, corporates. The creative leadership is expected on the part of the media, media which is free from you know that uh, false narrative, you know that uh, fake news, paid news, political leaning. Might be our wise news, whatever it may be. So the creative leadership, you know, we can emphasize on the part of media because you know all journalists, the independent writer, you know, that when they've got free and fairness on the part of you know that uh, the journalism, free from sensationalism or excitement, you know, that when they un understand the power of the, the 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 mightier pen, they can definitely play this role. You know, that the creative leadership that takes nation to the next level, and people still believe what they read is necessarily true. There is a belief still. Whatever the printed information is always right, is always correct like that. The words, they have got, you know, power of influencing. And there is also saying, when you are ready to, you know, that conditioned by words, you will be conditioned by anything in the world. Getting addictive to words. As, as learned people, you know, well, how uh, word, words are powerful. Uh, they have got powerful meaning. They are influencing you. That way. So, when that is the sense, even, you know, whatever the printed news, printed material, people believe. The print done, you know, the information, you know, presented to you, maybe with, maybe not free from intention, the purpose. Whose purpose? Whose intention? What ideology? What is the objective? So, there comes a lot of questions. So, people still believe what they read is necessarily true. May not be, may not be. Even, you know, that, that centrifugal tendencies, the religious extremists, they also spread information. They condition people so that, you know, they become anti-national. They go against national integration sometimes. They, they weaken democratic institutions. They attack, they malign, uh, you know, that uh, 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 the democratic institutions. You know, they, they also believe written materials are correct. There comes, you know, that the uh, lack of objectivity. The intention of the writer, the intention of the, the, the printed information, people have to understand, given the fact India is still, you know, the, uh, the, the people below poverty line, the vicious circle of poverty, illiteracy and misconception, the ruralness on the part of the people, the, the, the traditional character, the custodian of the caste, the, the patriarchal, uh, you know, the superstition, belief. Still people tell you, you know, that there comes, you know, uh, the role of media, the creative leadership, understanding all these nuances, effective leadership. You got power not to mislead people, to objective, you know, reporting, not false narrative, not sensationalism, excitement that leads to communal violence, law and order deterioration. People not, not emotionally intelligent people, they are emotional, naturally. You know, that, you know, it's, uh, the, uh, you know, the very media should not play with the emotions of people. Today you may win, but when they understand, you know, that, you know, 100 percent, you know, lifelong you lose the relationship. You should not play emotions of the people. That's what we say normally. All people are not emotionally intelligent people. You play with emotions, you know, that you may win today, but lifelong you lose the relationship. That's what life, you have to understand. Media people, you have to understand this. You've got creative leadership of, you know, that not false narrative, not paid news, fake news, objective, you know, that news. It is not selling news. You've got great responsibility because you've got power. A, a, a mightier pen you have in your hands, you know that. So that's appropriate. One liner, very easy to capture your mind. And also, you know, that take, let's take into you know the corporate giant. Of course, connectivity enables the transparency for better government, education, and health. Connectivity plays crucial role. Connectivity. That's what Facebook doing. That's what China is doing. One built one road initiative. Connectivity. How people are. There comes you know that democratization of information. Right to information act. 
thanks to the technology and people should be properly intimated informed about all those programs policies programs and you know that the role of the government is to connect people connect you know that uh, social groups connect corporates with the government with the, with the people with the, with, the, with the execution with the executive otherwise you know that the connectivity enables ultimately the transparency for better government and education and health you know there is no connectivity if people are kept under dark without informing them there comes role use all those you know the, the the means of technology in such a way you know so as to reach the people so that they become aware so that you know they will question you know that every uh, 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 the legislature the mla or mp they will question otherwise they will they will vote them out of power in the next election there comes role of the connectivity effective role played by the government to connect people not in the name of you know lockdown you should not keep people at the home in the name of see one thing happened that is the bad side of lockdown so using this advantage government trying to consolidate its corruption measure keeping the people at the dark they have got effective blaming mechanism in the name of lockdown all those you know that things they can do you know the indulgent corrupt practices effectively they do so this lockdown corona never stop their corrupt measures you will come to know what i'm talking about so so they disconnect people so that you know the lack of transparency opaqueness is maintained for poor administration and also you know that the zero education of course even online education accessibility the question mark ultimately lack of you know health infrastructure ultimately thriving you know the the, the hospital administration you might be aware exorbitant price they charge in spite of the thing some hospitals are sealed you might be aware where there is also the, the connivance, you know, the nexus between hospitals and governments reported. It's not ruled out. By, 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 you know, the disconnecting people see the consequences. I'm talking about negative aspects of this code. Positivity, if you connect people, that ensures transparency for better government. The role of the government, role of the media, I'm talking about from government angle. The media should play effective role in connecting people. Connectivity, that connectivity, of course, the creative leadership connects people. You know that, and, and, and then and there, you know that citing information, so transparency for better governance, and also access to education and health, social sector. We are talking about thanks to Bill Gates. It is that way we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, and also you know that lack of transparency, the opaqueness results in distrust and deep sense of insecurity. People lack awareness. That's what the openness ultimately. You know that it is the, the openness ultimately brings you know that trust confidence only when you are open people will start believing you they develop trust in you they develop confidence in you then you become you know that leader in that then you become role model leader if there is no openness only opaqueness lack of transparency that leads to distress that leads to deep fear deep sense of insecurity that is why the lack of transparency on the part of government whatever it may be central government or state government it is always questioned the opaqueness ultimately, you know, the threatens. You are afraid of darkness. What may be? There may be ghosts. The darkness, the opaqueness, lack of transparency. That leads to distress, lack of confidence, the, the fear sensation, lack of insecurity. So, the God, it should be very transparent. You know, Mahatma Gandhi said, my life is my message to the world. That's what Mahatma Gandhi ji said. You know, that's what, you know. <laughs> You know that why 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 you lack courage? I'm asking all our leaders. You know, that, how courage enough to speak openly? You know that always throw away. You know, it is, I don't know what is else. It is that way. You know that it's 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 a challenge, of course, on the part of leadership to have the courage. You might be if if power is the only you know that motto that 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 breeds everything. So please think, understand the very purpose. You know, of course, you know that the media should address all these things ultimately effectively, not say, taking sides. Whatever may be the party, whoever may be the leader, do you have guts? Do you have guts? If you if you have guts, if you got creative leadership or objective, you know that reporting definitely you will you will not hesitate to speak against anybody. That's what I mean. You won't take sides. Let us judgment is that way. So and also good governance is treating the development as a mass movement in order to see the fruits of development to reach the poor and downtrodden. What is good government? The benefits the government you know that acquired should should reach the poor and downtrodden. It is what inclusive government. This is what inclusive growth. Growth should not be at the cost of section of population. You should not leave even a section of population 
in the, in the growth process. So good governance is all about, what do you say good governance? Good governance is all about, you know, the, where you talk about transparency, accountability, responsibility. Dar naye, tar. Uh, you say rat <laughs> in reverse, whatever may be, I don't know. It is that that way, you know, that the transparency, accountability, responsibility. If that is there, good governance is treating, you know, the development as a mass movement in order to see the fruits of the development benefiting the people, especially the needy people, the poor people, downtrodden people. What is the use? What is the use? It's not benefiting only corporate, the rich becomes richer, poor becomes poorer. Yeah. What is the use? Even if you don't do that, that will happen. Huh? What is the role of government? So that is what good governance. So the, the role of media keep on, you know, that reminding the government, this is what your role, this is what your role. That way, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about. I think you know that's fantastic. Let me take you to the next level. Of course, once again, once more, maybe by while concluding this quote, maybe utilize, you know, the as Ratan Tata said, the industrialist, you might be aware. May, you know, that when he was asked question, I know, I think I told you already. Ratan Tata was asked. Oh, that you are more richer than Reliance people, but they are very popular, not you guys. So, Ratan Tata replied, I am industrialist, I am an industrialist, that is a statement made by Ratan. We are industrialists, they are business people, you know the difference. The industrialist people, they've got value system, they've got principles. You know very well. When Mumbai attack happened in Taj Hotel, I, I recently visited that all place. Since Mumbai, you know, I, you know the uh, Mumbai attack, you know, all uh, the hotel, you know, that the staffs they were got affected, killed some people. This Ratan Tata administration took care of those people. They gave salary till the ho you know that the very hotel rebuilt into operation. Till the hotel became alive, they were properly taken care of. Salary, everything. Not only that, even the very hotel nearby pavement dwellers, na, they were running shop. They too got affected. They were also compensated. They were also given salary, taken care of by Ratan Tata. Because they, they were driven by values, principle, standard. They are industrial. You know, from days of you know India's independent struggle, how they are taking care. That's what the difference between industrialists on the one hand, business people. Business people, they will always you know that uh, try to fish in the troubled water. You know very well. Because uh, that's what capitalism, the profit is a motive. But whereas industrialists, they are moved by, they've got value system, they've got principles. Let me appreciate, you know, our own, you know, Tata administration. Of course, you know, according to Tata, I'm proud of my country. But we need to unite to make India, unified India. We don't want fractured India. Unity in diversity, cultural pluralism. Unified India. How? Free of communalism. Casteism, communalism based on religion, casteism based on caste division. We need to build India into a land of equal opportunity, opportunity for everyone, opportunity for all. And we can be a truly great nation if we set our sights high and deliver to the people the fruits of good growth, prosperity, and equal opportunity. Know that we have to, so we can be definitely truly a great nation when if we set our, you know, that if, 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 if our sides, our visions are very high. Have vision, what's your vision? That's a question. Have vision and deliver to the people. What is that? With that vision, with mission, with strategy, with policy, program, economic development, you achieve something na, that, that, you know, prosperity should percolate down to the masses. The very needy people, poor people, downtrodden people. Then only it is inclusive growth. Then only it is inclusive governance. Then only it is social justice. Then only the nation is called welfare nation. So it's paternalistic nation. Paternalistic nation. You take care of the citizens of this nation as your sons and daughters. Because you are dads. Our leaders should feel they are fathers of the nation. Uncles of nation. You got responsibility. Because that way, it is not, you know, that inciting violence, speaking hate speeches. No. Election is over. But it is running the government. And also, I am telling all the political party leaders, you know, opposition, the role of opposition is not to oppose everything introduced by the ruling party. You understand. Do you have vision? It is not mere. Of course, you know, that uh, the people, you know, that don't think people are fool. One day, find money, they will throw you away. Whoever may be. Whatever may be the party, whoever may be the leader. You know, you can fool some people sometimes. Some people all the time, not, not all the people all the time, can fool some people. 
all the people, all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand. People are not fools. They are maybe ignorant. One day find morning, once they come to know, they will throw. You lose the relationship finally. So I am proud of my country, but we need to unite to make a unified India, which is free from communalism and casteism. We need to build India into a land of equal opportunity. When I say casteism, love your caste, love your community, but you should not be at the cost of somebody else's caste, somebody else's religion. That demands maturity. Who stopped you? Who asked you to not to love your caste, not to love your community? Love. But it should not be at the cost of somebody else's community. For the sake of loving your own brother, if you are trying to kill another person, it's no more love. The love towards your brother is no more love. That's wrong. That's wrong. You have to understand the difference. So, we need to build India into a land of equal opportunity for all. We can be truly great nation if we set our sights high. Have vision. That's the meaning. That's what Dr. Kalam also said. Have vision. Right? You know, you know that it is that way. And deliver to the people the fruits of continued growth. It is not, you know, that the growth story should not be the story of few sections of corporate. Few, you know, that house. To percolate down to the masses. So, you know, the people should rejoice the, the fruits of our growth, our prosperity and equal opportunity. Otherwise, it is arresting social inequality. It is working towards egalitarian society. It is otherwise establishing the principles of all room social justice. That should be the conclusion. There, the role of media is, because India is undergoing a transition period. In this period, people should not, should, may be confused, may be perplexed. It is our duty, responsibility instill confidence in them, hope in them and, and properly guide them. Hitherto we succeeded this way and, and there is very short distance we are going to succeed in the future. The media should play a role of hope, instill in the minds of the people hope, confidence that demands your objective reporting first of all. Ladies and gentlemen, so I think you know that you understood that way and you know the very well, the very practice of writing of course we are keep on talking about so, you know, it's not knowing the stuff, knowing to deliver the stuff. You know, you would have understood the tools, technology. I Please, I want you to watch all the videos related to this art of writing practices. You know, starting from the strategy, 200 plus strategy to and domain knowledge. So far, you know that we have dealt four different domains. We enriched, you know, that your keywords. Now, you can definitely understand, you know, that uh, uh, the SA, the spirit of SA, you please practice. Minimum two to three SAs you have to practice per week. And given the people who write this means, ladies and gentlemen, I am emphasizing you, if you are not very strong, you know, in a essay, in a title, out of four to five words, if you don't know the meaning of three to four words, how come you can write thousand to two hundred words, thousand two hundred words, without knowing the two to three vocabularies? My role is to build, enrich your foundation, strengthen your foundation, so that building superstructure is nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, so you please watch all the videos to understand the holistic benefit the people who missed, please watch all those, you know, previous videos also. You practice every day, you know, that you should have structure, content, you know, well, the very formula. I gave you, you know, that I repeat once again the formula. What is that? PBO, PI. What is that PBO? You know, what is that? You, you prepare in the name of, you know, choosing the topic and also go for brainstorming, generate ideas, organize ideas. Think about conclusion, think about introduction. This should be done in half an hour. You then you elaborate, write the essay and go for tinkering or polishing the essay. So this is for half an hour, this is for one hour. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for plan, this is for execution of the plan. Walk the top. Walk the plan. Is that way, ladies and gentlemen? You know the resources I have shown. I think I sh I've shown all the resources also parallelly in every session. Please watch all those videos. The editorials of Hindu, lead articles of Hindu and also Indian Express editorials and, and the articles written by established people, you know, that of different domains you please go through and also the articles of Yojana, Economic Political Weekly and, and various books written by established authors like even uh, uh, Father of Nation Mahatma Gandhiji, even, you know, Dr. Amartya Sen, even, you know, that uh, uh, the very Dr. Kalam, even uh, uh, Mr. Shashi Tharoor. And there are so many people like that. It's up to you, you know, that you have the habit of reading at least one hour out of, you know, uh, free from your curriculum to enrich your communication skill as well as you live in that spirit. That that takes you to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my humble, you know, that, you know, that uh, uh, appeal to you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that way, ladies and gentlemen. So, welcome to An Academy. Once again, this is Success Sampath so far interacted with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I believe, you know, that you would have benefited much out of all these videos on the part of, you know, art of SEO writing. I scored top marks when I was preparing, like even my kids scored, became offices. You are also going to be part of the 200 plus club. If you strictly adhere to the technology, 
you know, the, the tools I supply, the strategy I supply on the part of this, you know, the series of essays in the name of Art of Writing essay. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you once again to score a, a, a great score, to be part of, you know, that 200 plus, you know, that the club of essay th that plays crucial role in designing your rank and services. Ladies and gentlemen, please use my referral code, say success to avail maximum 10% discount. Wishing you all the very best and best of luck. Ladies and gentlemen, signing off, you know, from you. You know that ladies and gentlemen, welcome to An Academy once again. We will meet, you know, that some other day with some other topics. Appreciating you. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you.